once powerful note. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime. One. Yo, 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 it's good chat. How are we doing today? Quite an interesting day today. <laughs> you know, what with Twitter being shitty, or shittier than usual, I guess. And, well, uh, everything else. Uh, yeah, let me just turn my switch real quick. There we go. Alright. So, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're here to watch me play, play Rain Code, then you have come to the right spot. Uh, if, you're, if you don't want to get spoiled on anything, um, I'm going to just let you know that we have finished the prologue, or epilogue, whatever the hell it's called. I keep forgetting the name. Is it prologue? I think it's prologue. Yeah, we finished the prologue, um, now we're on chapter one, uh, it's gonna get hectic. Like, the, the prologue was already, like, pretty, pretty hectic, but the, the epilogue, or fucking the first chapter, I'm excited. So, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, with that being said, let's get right into it. Also, chat, let me know how the audio is, because last night, when I was looking through the VOD, um, the audio was doubled, and that really annoyed me. Um, but it's fine. It is. It, it was a minor gripe. Well, it wasn't really that minor, but you know what I mean. Um, if the audio is still doubled, please let me know, um, and I'll try to fix it. Also, thank you for the follow, Butter. Yo, welcome to the chat. How you doing? I thought that was just a game. Nah, nah. The game isn't supposed to be like that. Um, yeah, we're back. Thank you for the follow, Sonic the Hedgehog. Welcome to the chat. Be Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, so if you if you don't remember what we did last night, in case you're new, or if you just want a refresher, uh, basically all these guys were killed off. Um, well, except for this guy. Well, okay, now this guy was the culprit that killed the other four people here, uh, but he was also killed after we exposed them. It was it was a whole thing. Um, yeah. I panic attacked it because I thought my account got platform being sus. No, the website's exploding. <laughs> now you're good, you're good. 
Um, also, we met a bunch of other new people. So we met this guy, Yako Furio. He looks pretty cool. Um, Halara Nightmare, which, by the way, I was told that this character is actually non-binary, which is pretty cool. You can even see right here, the sharp-witted and attractive detective has no specified gender. That's pretty cool. Shout out to non-binary people. Um, this guy who looks like Rindo from Neo the World Owns a Few. Um, Babuki who looks like, or no, she doesn't look like anything. She just, she's airheaded basically. And uh, Vivio Twilight, who's my favorite out of the gang so far. I, I like him. Um, yeah. So, uh, now we're gonna talk to every single person here. Uh, let me know if the game's too loud or if my voice is too loud or anything like that, and, uh, yeah. Let's talk to you first. Everyone on the train died besides you? <laughs> that sucks. Had I been on the Amaterasu Express, I would have solved it before anything had gone down. Damn. Missed the chance to show off my superstar self. This short stack is so arrogant. I hate his guts. What did you just call him? Alright, um... Yuma, do you like chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, a bit. Did you know that chocolate grows on cacao trees? The sight of all those trees with their shining silver fruit must be so splendid. That's not how it works. I think the silver part is just the wrapper. Huh? Does it not grow on the tree like this? Sure he's talking about Miguel. Wait, what? Ah, I see. I thought I was peeling back its silvery husk. <laughs> what a misunderstanding to make for an adventurer such as myself. Adventurer? She is Correct. so goofy. I am an adventurer and a detective. Oh, you're it calling me nice a short stack. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you too. You purposely came over to talk to me? You're so kind. Yuma, don't worry. They aren't avoiding me or anything. I prefer to be alone. A place like this gives me a sense of peace and quiet. <sighs> I want to die someday. Oh, okay. I have no idea what to say to him. That is an individual. Aren't you going to speak with the chief? I want to talk to other people first. So you're the survivor from the Amaterasu Express Massacre. You don't look like much. That's thanks to yours truly! Otherwise, Master would have died right away! <sighs> Yuma, I'm sure you're tired from your long journey. Go ahead and find a spot to sit. Uh, sure. I guess we gotta sit on the couch then. Now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Is that Detective Agency are Yes sir, Kaiji Tang, aka Ichiban Yasuga, or wait, no, Kasuga. What the fuck is his last name again? Ichiban from Yakuza, that's what I'm trying to say. And, um, what else? Kasuga, yeah, that's it. And, uh, EY from Persona 5. There are a lot less of you than the many other roles. Planned. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the Peacekeeper's numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here, and avoid provoking them, as we've been doing. Huh? You want to stay submerged in like, this filthy river? like, poor Yakuza in this game is kind of cursed. Come here to really? Rot like sewage. <laughs> I want to make a grand entrance, solve all unsolved mysteries, and become a superstar detective! Oh! And once I'm rich and famous, I'll make you all my assistants. In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. All information is controlled by the peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. Oh. I see. Got it. Wait, don't actually do it! <laughs> don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? <laughs> I'm just kidding around. 
Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently myself. You didn't receive any instructions? Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. But before that, there's something I need to verify first. Yuma, it's about you. Oh? Huh? Me? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then, but... Do you really have amnesia? Huh? <laughs> amnesia? A detective with amnesia, hmm. Yeah, it seems like I do. I don't remember How anything original. From before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Ah, then you and I are alike. We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. Oh. Huh? Fubuki, you too? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. I cannot even recall how I got here. I don't think that's the same thing. Uh, I think you're just forgetful. Don't make things even more complicated. My apologies. <laughs> what is the source of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. So you really don't remember anything? Well, I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. I probably can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with a death god. You better not. Talking about me breaks the contract. I think I was just lucky. The chief saved me in the end. This cast of characters is really good. Yeah, I agree. I already like this one more than the other cast. Well, you can work off your debt to me. So you really don't know who you are? In other words, you don't remember if you were a detective? That's correct. Oh, but I do have a letter from the WDO. And this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly. I don't doubt you. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Huh? You know who I am? I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. What's your forte? That ability is top secret, so uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Okay, well fuck you too. Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. They better not kill this character off right after Pride Month just ended, I swear to god. This doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of course it is! I might finally get to learn about my past! So, who am I? The truth might surprise you, but among the master detectives registered at the W. Why would even say no that? Individual with the Wait, what? Yuma Kokohan exists. What do you mean? How would I say that? Or what are Five you talking master about? master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. I can't that spell. That is an undisputable yes, fact. Because. The person with the glasses, not not this but guy. Detective in training. Um, hold on. Where are they? Uh, this person right here. I already mentioned this earlier briefly, but they're non-binary, or at least their gender isn't specified. So, yeah, that's why. Was also summoned. Detective and it's a it's a and it's a training? Kodaka game, so you gotta expect that's you, any of these characters to die. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. So, I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never fail to amuse me, master. Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Oh? Inability? 
So I do have some sort of special power too? What's his power? Your record claims that you're a great cook. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? Oh. Your lake is made. I don't know if I can. Not gonna lie, the purple ghost is making my veins pop. I hate that Luigi's Mansion fraud. Never mind. Okay, but like, but like, but like, but like, but like, butter, but like. What about what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this form? What does this form make you feel? The age of consent is 18. That is a death god. Mention anything else? Like where I used to live or my personal history? It didn't have any details of the sort. You see, you've got a trainee's profile. I mean, not booties, a proper booties, master though. detectives. Okay. Okay. Okay, butter. You know, you know what? No. I'm not gonna open the game back up until you apologize, okay? Apologize right now. What do you do? Never mind, you're gonna you're not gonna apologize. I see. They're kind of like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! <laughs> mm, that wasn't funny. Don't worry, I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed about. Everyone starts off as a trainee. I'm sorry, I'll stop being the cheat crusader. Okay. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your abilities. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, no surgeon dives straight into surgery. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. So everyone here also trains at the World Detective Organization? The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents. No ex During that time, the agent's paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic forte, specializing in investigation. And those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. Like me! Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO! By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have four Is that motherfucker a Pikachu cheeks? Yeah. Oh, he really? does. I, still I mean, his name is- team. his last name is literally Thunderbolt, so I wouldn't be surprised it, if that was the inspiration. The a forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will That's never Hiko develop Thunderbolt. it, no matter how much effort they put in. Bro, it's just a human Pikachu. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. So, is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. Uh, there is no record about your forte. You could be like me and have no special powers. I knew it. Who cares about that? You've got me, Master. Look, there's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make better detectives. Hmm. So oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. But being both a capable detective. Hi, friend. Yo, what's good, South Saint? Welcome to the chat. Better, such as myself. You're tuning your own horn too. Anyway, whether you have an ability or not, the fact remains. Shadow you've been Ball, that bitch. To be a detective. Nah. So, I wanted to be a detective. Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. You must be quite capable. I mean, master detectives were killed, but you managed to survive. 
I'm not sure if that's right. I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. Although, I still do not remember what I ate this morning, let alone yesterday's weather. It was raining. It's always raining. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Is she this dumb on purpose? I think she's putting on an act. Maybe she's a giant skank. It's uh, game kill time if you fall for her, master. Hello? Uh, okay? I didn't do anything. By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is gonna steal your thunder. Got it? Call her a ganger the way she got ghost's poison. Yeah. <laughs> Did she just say what I think I heard? Yeah, she did. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm gonna take all the medals. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> They're so real you for that. You senior detectives sure are a handful. Vivia, anything you'd like to say to the newbie? Mm, no, not really. I need him to talk more. His voice is a call? so good. That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, they're finally contacting us. All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. So that phone is rather special. And obviously, Why it's in the fireplace? From the folk. Because he feels like it. If they're contacting us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. Go ahead, rookie. Huh? You want me to answer? Um, hello, Nocturnal Detective Agency. Please state your business. Good work, all of you. I assume everyone is present. Oh yeah, this guy's voiced by ProZD, by the way. Mm. So few of you survived. Far less than I anticipated, but considering who survived, this should suffice. What the hell? Who's this grandpa? He acts like he's hot shit. What beats me? I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally different. Perhaps he dialed the wrong number? No, uh, that's impossible. This is a direct line to the WDO. Um, who are you? Would you mind telling us your name? A name? Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Uh oh. Now, I simply go by number one. I'm sure you've heard of me. So his name is Ichiban, got it. Number one. <laughs> Number one? You're joking! Seriously? Uh, my sincerest apologies for my rude behavior. I didn't expect Number One himself to appear. This must be very serious business then. Is he a big deal or something? Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. Oh. The top detective of the WDO? He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. He is only known among detectives as number one. He's the top of the World Detective Organization? It's just some old man. Hey! I am here to give those of you who arrived your instructions. There is a dangerous secret lurking here, which we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Ultimate secret? Kanai hmm. Ward's ultimate secret? However, Kanai hmm. Ward's ultimate secret isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. That is all. Huh? That's it? How about some clues? Why do you think you're there? If you're a detective, search for clues yourself. Providing yes, any information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Uh, it makes me so happy seeing ProZD get big roles in games shots again, by the way. So true. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's creed? A detective must never overlook a mystery. 
Any and all truths I remember you must still, be like, exposed. I used to watch a lot of his like skits must back in the day before I even knew case. he was a voice actor. And then when I played Nirvana Initiative and I found out that he voices the fucking character in that game, I was like, holy shit. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Back on Vine? Holy god, that is a throwback. I heard that every single day during training. But it's not something you can easily put into practice. Is that true, Master? I don't remember at all. I miss Mysteries Vine. are the greatest threat to humanity. The WDO will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and indomitable will. We must guide the lost souls of victims to paradise in the name of truth. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Well, that's that. <sighs> hey, did you hear that? We got a direct order from number one. We play our cards right. We're guaranteed to get promoted. <laughs> I'm hyped! It isn't so simple. Just look at how much we sacrificed to get you here. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret must have something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Which means we have to snoop on them. They're gonna wipe us out! So, it's a full-on war then. Hmm. The WDO is serious. War is awful! I myself am a pacifist! I don't believe you. Well, it's something we have to do from here on. There you go again with your jokes. Fubuki, were you listening? Huh? I was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> you weren't listening then! So, Chief, She's so silly. any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But one thing that comes to mind is this unending rain, I think. He said that it has something to do with the great global mystery, too. I have no clue what that is. Well, for now, let's sneak into Amaterasu Corp and start gathering up info. Don't you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy-to-reach spots. Well, then what are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. Jeez. How did it end up like this? He is worried. Oh, come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Ah! All I wanted was to sink quietly into the river. Are things really that bad? Yeah, lives are at stake here. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai Ward. I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. Maybe for you, but I'm not that way. Who said I wanted that? I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't hear a thing. No, I know that's impossible. <laughs> Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down now. Oh, I guess we have no choice. Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in the city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way's most convenient for them. In other words, the truth they're hiding may be connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Some of these cover-ups may be clues for unsolved mysteries, then. But there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then what we need to do is clear! Uh-huh. Don't stare at me, dumbfounded rookie. We've gotta crush each unsolved mystery one by one! What? All of them? I suppose that's one way to solve whatever's going on? Oh, fine. All right, listen up. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Oh? Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. We'll be up against Amaterasu Corporation. So please, be extremely careful. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now. But it's time to put an end to that. 
Please, help me save this city. You heard him, Master. I love it. Things are getting interesting. Well, Yuma, you gonna help them or what? In What's... the unending rain. Oh. Through the winding neon cityscape. Draped in my raincoat, I roam in search of my missing memories. What secrets lurk in this labyrinth of drainage pipes? Oh. We have yet to find the answer. The story of detectives facing the darkness that enshrouds the truth is about to begin. Chapter one, y'all. We're only just playing the opening? Oh, shows her VAs too, that's really cool. Wow. That was a fucking amazing opening. Hello, friend. Hope you have a great stream. Thank you, Rotem. Welcome to the chat. Wait, that was just the end of the prologue? Oh my god. Wait a minute, Koi? Yeah, Koi Dive voice is, um... What's his name? Dasukiko Thunderbolt. So I've heard this is dying up if it was good. Well, <clears throat> I'll say this, the production quality is much higher than Danganronpa so far. Yay, seven hours of the game and you just got the chapter one. Yo, let's go. This is actually, I think this is longer than V3's uh, the first sound chapter. Of a ticking clock. Uh oh? Melts against the sound of rain. Is that the timbre of water splashing a ship in the night? Or is it the sound of a wedge driven into the Wheel of Fate? The Wheel of Fate is turning. Every time that vault's door closes... Oh my god. I search again for a reason to open it. What is going on? This game could be very long. Yeah, probably. The Nail Man Killings. Huh. <sighs> Got some nice sleep. 
No one's here yet? It's just about time, I think. And to be fair, their type are rarely on time anyway. Master detectives are all weirdos. Did you get a good night's sleep, Yuma? Not really. What? But I gave you time to rest at the office. Your brain won't work right without enough sleep. Be more like me. Even today, my mind is crystal clear. Although it doesn't get much use. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. To think that Master had to sleep on such a filthy sofa. The other Master detectives are staying at a hotel, right? That's no fair. I'm totally jealous. That's discrimination. They said detectives and trainees would be treated equally. For now, how about you wash your sleepy face? You can't work as a detective when your mind is hazy. Wait, where is the... Oh, here we go. Wow! Master! Is that Come not on. where huh? you're supposed to wash your face? I mean, I guess... I guess not. I guess over here. The kitchen sink? <sighs> you know what? Sure. He said I can't work as a detective if my mind is hazy. Why do I want to become one in the first place? It's not like I have any special powers. Is there a reason why? Even if there was, right now I have no reason to try being a detective. I'm only pretending to be one to regain my memories. Is it right for me to pursue this if that's my goal? Master, there you go with that dumb poetic stuff again. It's not dumb. This is important to me. <sighs> <laughs> you better be careful. Whenever a detective saw Last week I showed my cousin who hates turn-based RPGs Persona 5 gameplay and now he wants to play it. That's just the power of Persona 5, you know? It wouldn't happen otherwise. One of the greatest I games of all time. Wait a minute, Yuma. You're good at cooking, right? Can you make something for me? Uh huh? Right now? Come on, man. I'm starving. Maybe if you do some expert cooking, it might rekindle your lost memories or something. Um, uh, I guess so. Please tell me this game is a cooking mini game. Please tell me there's right. a cooking mini game. So get out breakfast. Thanks. Wait, Chief. What should I do? Give it a shot. Maybe your muscles will remember. I guess I'll try. Oh, come on. What is he even making? All right, done. Oh. Let's take it to Chief Yaga. Of Yaga's. course, Ami Rice. Oh, this is looking pretty good. We're actually walking with the fucking thing. God, I hope Chief Yaku likes my cooking. Here you go. Chief, breakfast is ready. Hey, it smells nice. Let's see. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um. He's gone pale. I hope he isn't dead. No way. Uh, Chief, are you all right? Oh, no. I thought I was a goner. Did you poison me? Why would I do that? I can't believe you'd say that after all the trouble I went through making it. Right. I basically forced you to make it. Sorry. Yuma, can you clean this up? Oh, that went about as well as I expected. Well, he can't cook. Master, if you ever want to boon kill someone, you should just cook for them. I think it'd be the perfect crime. <laughs> what did my profile say I was good at cooking? Forget about the cooking, Yuma. At least until you get your memories back. Yeah, I figured. Yesterday was such a surprise. I never thought there would be a directive from number one. To investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. But it's dangerous. Amaterasu Corp won't sit idly by and let it happen. Uh, it's big trouble, all right. Look, I'm not saying I've been idle up until now. 
I tried investigating Amaterasu several times regarding some unsolved mysteries. They get pissed, and I get a lecture bordering on torture. They oh. even confiscated my office. And, well, here I am now. Why didn't the World Detective Organization help you? I asked a few times, but they always waved me off. Turns out there were other cases which is a very cool were design. priorities. Yeah. And besides, it's cool. ever since Kanai Ward became isolated from the world, we haven't been able to exchange much info. They didn't quite get how bad the place has gotten. But what made them investigate Kanai Ward to begin with? Amaterasu? Naruto? The great global mystery. No, must it's be a, a reference to the deal. sun god. Even number the Japanese one sun god at least. Involved. Hey, isn't number one coming here? I thought he was at the WDO's headquarters. <laughs> you think I'd know? Number one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world. His location is kept top secret. That's why he almost never shows up in public. It's super rare even to glimpse him on a screen. If he's that amazing, that's all the more reason he should come here. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure that number one could solve this lickety split. The rumors say that once he decides to solve a case, he'll do everything perfectly on his own until it's solved. Perfectly on his own? He didn't seem all that impressive to me. Anyway, he's got his hands full on another case right now. He won't be able to leave that behind to visit Kanai Ward. We'll save our trump card for last. Until then, we'll add a few cards to our hand. That's why you all were called here. Wait, where are the others? Ah, at this rate, we'll never have enough hands. Jeez, everyone goes and does their own thing all the time. Why is it number one just decided to solve the Amaterasu problem? Probably because it requires being hands-on and he can't really do it himself because he's being hunted down. How about using a cell phone? So he has to Even use like can't other detectives as like a proxy. World, it'd still be useful in times like these. And no good. Risks the peacekeepers wiretapping you. Okay, Yuma, you're getting your first job. A job? Get the other detectives assembled. I've rented out a special room at a hotel in Kamasaki District. My guess is that they still haven't left the hotel yet. Each master detective. Also, chat at like 7 30. I'm gonna like react to the um Bandai Namco thing and see like what that's all about. Listen, so someone can remind me. Your job is to convince that them happens, to get appreciated. Over here. He says it's a job, but he just made you his errand boy. Fine, I'll head to their hotel. Thanks. Remember to avoid the peacekeeper's attention. Sure hope you got all that down. Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay, no, so we were, um, we did Chapter Zero, but then that thing when Yako met us, like when we got to the train station and did all that, that was the prologue, and then now we're on Chapter One. Okay, that's confusing. I don't know why it's been just been like the same thing, but whatever. Uh, okay, let's see. Profiles. I mean, yes, this guy's gonna be like 200 centimeters tall. Oh! Wow, a guy who's not that short or tall. Huh. That's definitely gonna be important. How is chapter zero any different than a prologue? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Felt unnecessary. Short king. How he dislikes sweets. Wait, he dislikes sweets. Who? I remember someone liking sweets. Who is that? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Never mind. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Um, we have to go to the Kamasaki district. Okay. I guess then you could just leave then. Who dislikes animals? Let me know. They wouldn't put me in their room. No, sir. What does that mean? What did you mean by that? Ooh, this music. 
I like the music in this game. I like that this, um, that this, uh, sprite is a reference to that one Junko sprite from, uh, well, you know which game. Or, okay, I found the stream notification. I already deactivated Twitter. It's good outside. Hi, Fran. Yo, what's good, Nathos? Yeah, no, Twitter is down the fucking shitter right now. You know, I think that was the guy with the dong hat, and I think it says he likes animals, not hates. Wait, dong hat? What? Oh, this dude. I mean, wait. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? I just realized something. His likes and dislikes were reversed. Because originally it, was, it said that he likes animals and dislikes destroying nature. But now it's the opposite. And his true talent was revealed, which I already found out. Oh my god, wow. And his title, yeah, he's a hitman. Holy shit. That's cool. Well, not the fact that he tried to kill us, but you know what I mean. Alright. It's better than hiding out on the sub. By the way, Shinigami, what do you know about number one? Huh? Why do you ask? I was just curious. Wait, you know something, don't you? Because it wasn't actually him. Yeah, because it was probably an imposter. Maybe the real Alexander Zilch actually likes animals and hates destroying nature, but the guy that killed everyone on the train was like, um, was a faker that likes the opposite of what he likes. This dude has negative drift, by the way, preschool as fit. Butter, he's a detective. The last thing he has to worry about is drift. I don't think it's that simple. Also, he has light up shoes in case you didn't know. See? Light up shoes. What, what am I what? looking at? There's something amazing over there! Go get it! Hurry! What do you mean detectives supposed to have drip? Just because he's not from the Somnium files doesn't mean he's gonna have drip. What is this? A memory shard. What in the... Is this a Shinigami figurine? Why is it here? Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Stressing out about every teensy detail will make you go bald. But if you collect these figurines, you can get a peek at your memories, master! Wait, it'll cure my amnesia? No, nope. I'm afraid everything from before you came to Kanai Ward is still off limits. Oh, what memories can I see then? Your memories with all the detectives and Buzzhead's agency. You guys talked about all sorts of stuff, right? Um, what did we talk about again? See? You already forgot. You're completely hopeless, Master. If you want to know what you forgot about, then look for these figurines around the city. Finding them seems pretty tough, but I'll give it a shot. You can check all your recovered memories in the notebook. You know, the same place you check solution keys. I think I understand. Maybe. Right on! Thinking you maybe understand is perfect. Oh, uh, there is one thing I should warn you about. You won't be able to check these memories while you're unable to move around freely or in a mystery labyrinth. Got it. Oh, he actually has amnesia and I thought it was because of Shinigami. No, yeah, it is. He formed a pack with Shinigami and the price was um, his memories. That's why he forgot everything. Master's got secret memories stashed away! Yo, check, check! Alright, let's see. Uh. Gumshoe Gab, the fuck? Master's got secret memories stashed away! Here's a hint! Uh, Gab with Yako. Wait. Wait, what the hell? Uh. I guess I'll view it. Are these like cutscenes? <sighs> Something wrong.
wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Well, it's nothing, really. Since you arrived and you began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, it seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. I can't seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. I see. Damn it all. I long for the days when things were so uneventful. Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. I'd tail the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I reported back. It was the same old story every day. This may be rude of me, Yaka but so based. this doesn't sound True. very fun. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. Sure is. Do you know what they say? Every job is equally important. Just because a job may look more glorious, it doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Oh, look at Buzzhead trying to act all cool. Huh? What's wrong? You feel quiet out of nowhere. I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. I'm a bit moved. Not expecting? What's your image of me anyway? <laughs> Sorry. But really, I'm impressed. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. Can we talk about this game's OST? When you hang around Honestly, yeah, lot, this game's OST is, like, to a great. Class of people. It's heat. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. I better be more careful about this. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. I do hear that a lot. Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. Okay. What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? I'm sorry, but I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. <laughs> What? I can't believe you'd say that so fast! <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. Persona? So these are social links, basically. Okay. But why is it all Yako, then? Like, I looked in the thing, and it's just Yako. Yes, see, gab with Yako, gab with Yako. Just keeps going. Alright, we're supposed to go through here. Through the Kamasaki district, let's go. Press R, there's other sections. Oh, really? I already missed that, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, they're all different, like, colors, too. Amethyst, gold, silver, emerald, copper. Why is he copper and not, like, sapphire or something? Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait, okay, I think... Okay, I think volume two just unlocks like the second thing and yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay. I think I get it now. Come on, let's go! Go go go! Well I'm sorry, but I can't run. Where am I going? What is this? Variety stores? <laughs> Raindrops? What are you? Yes. Right. Okay. Head up the stairs.
Um. What was up with that person? Okay. They probably don't see outsiders that much. Come on, let's hurry up. Totally not right. suspicious. Where could it be? I'm trying to see if there's any references to something. What's over here? Abandoned building rooftop? Like, can we go here? Oh, we can. Oh, okay, this is where we were um, at the beginning of this chapter. Okay. Oh, what is this? Just watching. Hotel. So going in the hotel. Sun and Moon Hotel? Yo, it's a reference to Pokemon. Yo, what's good, Nebs? How you doing? I should get you the VIP, actually. Hold up. Surprised you don't have it yet. There we go. Pardon me. You're not from Kanai Ward, are you? Just no, you're drawing your crowd up. Yo, pop off. How did you know? I do work at a hotel, after all. I can tell from how a guest behaves. I don't know your circumstances, but it's rare to have guests from outside Kanai Ward. Patronage has plunged since Kanai Ward. Gen 7 is goaded, by the way. World sure. Years ago. Frankly, uh, it's not as if we can just relocate somewhere else. You keep telling else. yourself that. I wonder how long this will go on for. Ah, my apologies. I shouldn't complain in front of a guest. Why did Kanai Ward cut itself off from the rest of the world? And does it have to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Hey, let's ask him about it. Um, why did Kanai Ward close itself off from the world? It was the will of Amaterasu Corporation. There's no other reason. It seems we common folk don't have a right to know. I don't understand why the unified government permitted it. Bro was under the piano? Wait, what? Oh yeah, what the hell? What is he doing under there? Uh, I mean, I have no complaints about Amaterasu. Is he the only one here? Amaterasu Corporation subsidizes the hotel, so besides the boredom from all our free time, we have no complaints. Sounds like Amaterasu Corp unilaterally closed the borders. If that's the case, they've got huge political power. That's some nice information you got. Another step towards solving God I Ward's ultimate secret. I don't know about that. What are you doing here, Vivia? With Vivia? Oh, Yuma. Good morning. Good morning? What are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> I'm reading a book. Um. Back in my piano classes, I used to do this. Okay. The story I'm reading is about a boy building a sandcastle on a lake shore with a girl he just met. Many days pass, and the sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. The protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. Yeah, because of the waves. He believes the girl has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. So what? he stays on lookout at night on the lake. And just as he thought, the girl appears. As expected, she destroys the sandcastle oh. and returns home. The protagonist wonders, why she do such a thing? Yuma, what do you believe her motive is? Uh-huh. Uh... Okay, maybe she just wants to keep making a sandcastle and spending time with the protagonist, that's my guess. Maybe she likes the protagonist. I see. If she continues to destroy the sandcastle, the protagonist will return to rebuild it, and they can stay together. As long as they continue to build the sandcastle. It's rather clumsy, but quite a laudable effort by the girl. She could just ask him to come again tomorrow instead. That solution is quite romantic. It's very like you to say that, Yuma. Hmm. So, what's the real reason? The real reason? It doesn't say anything about that. You must imagine the girl's reasoning for yourself. That's 
what stories are all about. Just as you brought up this question, the protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl. But he loses sight of her in the darkness. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. And there, at the lake, the protagonist notices something. Why not just build another? Yeah, why not? The sight of the girl facing away from him. Also, that's a VIP butter as well. I thought he was already VIP, but I guess not. Huh? The protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. Almost like a long forgotten memory. Oh. He checks old newspapers and finds a picture of her. In the photo, she looks like she's smiling directly at him. Isn't it beautiful? Ah. Oh. This guy probably has no friends. Oh, by the way, Vivia, Chief Yako asked for you at the office. Oh. Is it that time already? Tell the chief I'll be there. All right. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look at him. He has zero intention of getting up. Oh, also, do you know where the others are? Maybe the restaurant? They should still be eating breakfast right now. The restaurant, got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I wanna die someday. Okay. Yeah, they are at the restaurant. Hey, rookie. What's up? You here for breakfast, too? Good morning, Yuma. Good morning. Um, it's way past our meeting time. Huh? Are we late? Impossible. As if I would permit time to ever overtake me. My vision is quite sharp, you know. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's not an excuse for being late. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is. Listen, Rookie, I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. But you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. Everyone besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? Now that you mention it, yes. yes. So easily? No, but he has a good point. Anyway, you should bring the chief here. And no way. For all we know, the peacekeepers could be around. The meeting may even be about planning out operations, so it's better to have it at the office. That's also a good point. I agree with Yuma. Would you, of all people, are saying that now? Oh, geez, fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post meal soda. I will also be there after breakfast. I have to chew well to promote good digestion, so this will take some time. Got it. By the way, is Halara here with you? Ah, uh, I doubt anyone in the world can hang out with that one. I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast, but the room was already empty. I'm sure Halara's around somewhere. Probably hustling kids out of their money. Looks like we have legwork to do. Let's search around some more. They better not be dead, I swear to God. Do not kill off the one LGBTQ plus representation this game has. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Chill, friend. The chapter just started. Yeah, the chapter just started. It's made by the Dong and Rampa devs. dies I'd refund the game. True. I like Vivi the most out of this game, not gonna lie. He's cool. It's a detective's responsibility to help those in need. Side quests in my visual novel? Wait, who's the green haired girl? Oh yeah, who is the green haired girl? Well my come on, are you gonna remember all of this? <laughs> There's no girl with green hair unless the airhead. Her hair is more like blue.
now it's green. What fucking planet is that green? On what fucking planet is that green? I want you to look at her hair and tell me what planet that's green. That is not green! That's blue! It's turquoise? It's not even tur- it's like a desaturated, like, blue. His hair is green. Her hair is, like, blue. That's blue. Thank you, Nips. Alright, uh, requests. Is it a detective's responsibility to help those in need? So, side quests in a visual novel, or at least, like, a mystery game, that's interesting. I guess we'll have to do these to, like, I don't know, get shit. Yeah, no, that's Mizuki blue. No, Mizuki's blue is, like, way lighter, I'd say. Ghost is pink, by the way, but y'all aren't ready for that. You mean, like, the ghost's color? Nah, she's, like, purple. I mean, her hair color when she's in her human form is, like, pink, but not this. I have to talk to you. My guy's just colorblind? I see. Wait, didn't Butter actually mention that he was colorblind at one point? Like, I don't remember if that's something. Wait. Oh, that TV was playing something. I'm pretty sure at least one of my mutuals is colorblind. Maybe. I can't tell if his outfit is blue or purple. It's it's blue. It's dark blue. It's just the lighting makes it look um, purple. But it's dark blue. Over here, I guess. This guy. Speaking of wit, yeah. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, the mixing in this game is weird, because sometimes when Yuma says, like, one word, like, huh, or oh, or okay, it'll, like, sound really loud for no reason. I don't know why. It's a weird bug. Thank you very much. Alright, I guess we're going up here. Dove. I'm pretty sure it's this. World Salvation? Oh, there we go. Then... Thank you very much. Yes! Come on! That's true. Alright, let's go check on Vivia. I feel like see if there's any like references to stuff here. Like really subtle references that I might miss. It's kinda like Yakuza. Dude, this looks way cooler than Yakuza. I love aesthetics like this, like neon stuff. Let's see, what does this say? Uh, oh, another TV. Oh. I know where you live, fraud. Yeah, sure. Sure you do better. Alright, 
Alright, back to the hotel. Yo, what's good, Vivian? Hey. You're amazing. You well? Hmm. He read the book already? That's nice. Right. No. Hmm. That's nice. Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if I gifted Yakuza games on Steam? Butter, you have gifted me so many things on Steam, you need to calm down, please. Alright, uh, now I... I guess we're done with that. Now we can continue... Wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay, wait. Okay. Let's have to go out. I just can't let my fl franchise be slanted like that, though. I'm sure Yakuza yeah, is good. I just like the aesthetics of this game. Hey, did you hear about the clock tower case at Gima District? I heard it's the nail man again. Yeah, the culprit was already caught. There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. No way! The nail man was caught? What did he look like? Man. They mentioned a case. Ah, a case already! The city is just as wonderful as the rumors say! It happened at the clock tower in a place called Kingma District! Let's go see! Why do the NPCs look like they're from completely first. different games? Night, That's just how it is. You know? Uh, this color works here too? Yep, until this world ends! World ends? Like the world ends with you? Oh god, she's actually got me on a chokehold. I'm not even controlling him. Yeah, what's good, Forza? Welcome to the chat. Wait, is that? I thought that was a drawing of something. You could say she has him in a chokehold. Butter, that's literally what I said. If you were paying attention, you would have heard me saying that. Is Twitter still broken? It is awesome. But I'll post the video. Watch around. this later. Wait, you didn't know where you were going? I have three pings. It feels so different from Kamasaki District. It's still raining as usual, but the area looks high class and luxurious. Not just the buildings, the people too. Everyone looks totally rich. Crazy different from the poor as we saw back there. Mechanism? I Why does it say that in people. Russian? All the pores have deranged personalities. <laughs> I think it's what? a kind of person. So where's the clock tower that incident happened at? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? The law first. Listen, Master. As your mentor, I'll teach you something important. Detectives prioritize investigations above all else, more than your parents or nature's call itself. Oh. All right, fine. I'll go. Guess I'll ask around first. Hold on. 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 Need to need to go to that. Hold on. <laughs> I cannot believe Shinigami is classist. That is insane. Not only does she hate poor people, she had to mention the fact they have deranged personalities. As if she's not one to talk. Okay. Don't forget this stuff. Fast travel. Wow. I see. Fast travel in my visual novel. 
take a look at this state-of-the-art Chromebrella. I got this new Amaterasu Corporation tech before anyone else. That guy literally has an umbrella just like yours. What's with the blank look? Don't you understand the value of this drone brella? Now that I've had a look at you, you don't dress appropriately to be from Gima District. Don't tell me you're a classist too. As you can see, we sell elegant and high-end products here. You're better off at <laughs> Kamasak. Awesome. <sighs> Everyone here is classist. That's great. What's this? Such a weird decoration. What in the fuck? Wow. I get it. Wait, 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 what did he just say? Even if we could, we need to stop and ask if we should. <laughs> uh, that's funny. The fucking Jurassic Park reference, I love it. They need to reference the Somnium Files. Also, I just realized, I don't know if it's intentional, but like, this part of the minimap looks like a cassette um, thing. I know that's intentional. Uh, what can I talk? Can I talk to you? Hmm? The art gallery? Okay. Uh... What's up with you? Hmm? Yeah. Uh... Oh. Uh -huh. Spirited, hmm? spirited away, yo! It's a reference. Um. Then. Might as well do a side quest. Even the quest is called Spirited Away. They wanna they really wanna let you know that that's a reference. Um So where am I supposed to go then? Also profiles. Shinigami is updated. But what did it update? can't tell. Alright, I gotta go. I'm pretty tired right now. Oh, adios, throw him. Have a good night. Uh, let me see this. Solved ongoing all requests. Okay, um, Kamasaki District. Find out if anyone has seen her. Okay, I gotta go to Kamasaki then. Uh, I think we fast travel by going to the bus over here. Wait, what did it just say? Hey. Teru Teru, that's that's a reference to Danganronpa too. Hey. AKA the worst character from that game. Hmm? No doubt about it. Let's take a look, Master. A green clock tower. Yo, it's like Persona. Okay, we gotta go to Kamasaki. Wait, does the three thing mean there's three requests, or is the question mark the request? Well, let's go and do this. Did you know I think it's a JoJo reference? Butter, you don't understand. Yesterday, Gachala and Miguel were just like both saying everything is a JoJo reference, and I wanted to like explode. I can't be around those two. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Wait. I get it. I get it. So the exclamation marks are like West things. Master. Huh? Oh wait, that's not. I want to check. Um. Well. Thank you 
very much. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Amaterasu was behind it either. I'm gonna head out as well to feel kind of low energy. Take it easy, man. You too, Afro. Adios. Take Excuse care. Excuse me. There's someone over here as well that we can talk to. You. Um. Underground passage. Yes. Yo, what's up, friend? Yo, what's good, Kiva? Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. What? All right. Master. Yeah. Let's go to the underground passage. Hmm? Oh, I guess we're gonna fast travel here. For now. Let's take a look around and see. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You alright? don't like where this is going. Huh? Not even 24 hours after Prime Month and you wanna- Butter! You cannot be saying this in my chat! Huh? Okay, now this guy is... Now this guy is... Trust this guy. Damn. Master. Master. Huh? Come on. <laughs> There's no way the game will end if I choose the child, right? Guess that was a test to see if we actually cared about saving the child. Uh... I guess all's well that ends well. Nightbot, you don't have to tell them about Twitter anymore. That site is dead. It's all about Blue Sky now, even though I don't have a fucking invite to that site yet. Oh well. Still broken. Awesome. Did the man go into the lean portal? I don't know. No. The Twitter shit is temporary, by the way. Yeah, but like, still. I don't I don't trust that, you know, that temporary is gonna be temporary, you know what I mean? I'm sure. Like, temporary could mean a month or a year. Oh, but... That's why... And he could always change his mind, so... If it does get fixed tomorrow, then fuck yeah, but if it doesn't, then... Call me unsurprised. Alright. Request completed. Alright, let's, uh, do the main quest now. I think this is the yellow one? Wait. Okay, no, never mind. We're back here. I wish there was a legit Twitter alternative. I don't know what other social media I go to other than Discord. Yeah. It's like, there are so many, like, massive, like, what's the word? Like, apps out there that just don't do shit correctly anymore. And it's like, you want to, for there to like, be an alternative, but we can't have that because they have, like, such a monopoly on the industry. 
Like, there can't be a YouTube alternative because, well, YouTube's like the biggest video streaming service in the world. There can't be, like, a Twitter alternative, at least not yet. For the longest time we thought there was no Skype alternative, but then Discord came around, so... Not everything is impossible, I guess. I remember when I first got my Discord account, like, seven years ago. All my friends were like, dude, I'm not using this app. It's like, it, it's weird. Everyone's using Skype, and then like, a year or two later, they're like, gonna mind Skype is garbage. Hi. I'm sure. Very apparently Instagram is to make a Twitter rival. I'm not using that. I, I don't care for Instagram. What are you gonna say? Nothing important. Look at all those robber neckers. What did you just call them? Hey, I heard the nail man got caught. What? The serial killer? Serial killer? So, what's this nail man guy like? Is his face covered with nails? Uh huh, that's a reference. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He's not called nail man because he's covered in them, idiot. Didn't you hear about the nails all over the crime scenes? Nails all over the crime scenes? So it was another locked room mystery, right? That's also a reference. Yeah, that's what I heard. She is exciting phrases. Getting One way too her. excited over this. I just might start drooling. Master, you might I'll start doing other things. You don't control yourself. We can't. It's already sealed off by the peacekeepers. I can't wait any longer. Hey. Oh, uh, good morning. Who are you? Um, did something happen here? The place is off limits to outsiders. Get lost. Sorry. Why are you so quick to back down? You're so pathetic. I know, but take a look around. There's no way I can get any closer. Don't tell me to push my way through the peacekeepers. I don't want them setting their sights on me. Besides, the murderer has already been caught. There's no point in me. I swear to God, if the murderer was. If the murderer is Halara, or if Halara got murdered, I swear to God. And you call yourself a detective? A detective will always crave more info about the crime. It's a locked room mystery. You should be grabbing your pants with excitement right now. No, I shouldn't. Besides, I'm not even a proper detective. Master. Don't tell me you're worried about being a trainee. It's more like... I just don't get it. Why am I even trying to become a detective? I mean, will I ever regain my memories? Without them, I don't know how to feel about working at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Master, what's important isn't your past. It's your future. I mean, you're the reason this happened to me in the first place, Shinigami. Well, if you're so fixated on the past, why don't you follow in the footsteps of your past self? What do you mean? Aim to become a detective as a trainee. If you aim for the same destination, all paths will eventually lead to one place. Which means that one day, you should understand how your past self felt. I get the feeling you're just saying that so I'll do what you want me to. Besides, how am I supposed to try to become a detective? Through investigating cases, obviously. So, let's scope out that clock tower. How about it, future detective? Yeah, you're just trying to make me do whatever you want. I'm fine. For now, I'll ask around about what happened. Maybe this case has something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. That's the spirit! Miss Tearful! Miss Tearful. Where are we going now? Oh, what the hell? 
Uh, pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh yeah, I saw the peacekeepers take away the culprit. Huh? You saw who it was? They apprehended a man wandering around the clock tower. He had a lot of weapons on him. Among them was a hammer, so he's the culprit for sure. After all, they say the nail man always carries a hammer and nails wherever he goes. He was wandering around the clock tower while carrying a hammer. That sure does sound suspicious. All right. I actually think the Nail Man is an unironically reference to Quake, is it? I haven't really played Quake, so I wouldn't know. Um, there seems to have been some sort of incident at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh my, really? Such troubled times we live in. It's that man again, right? I've heard there were numerous cases. You mean the Nail Man? That's the one! There was a commotion not too long ago. Where did it happen again? Hmm, the museum or the art gallery? Hey friend, I was trying to join a Discord but it kicked me out or something like that, but it didn't say I was banned and when I try to link again it says I'm valid link, I don't know if Discord any tips will help. Um, are you talking about Fidel's Discord? Cause, um, it should say if you're banned from the server, if not then I don't know. What's your Discord username? Uh, whisper it to me, and I'll check after the stream. In any case, I'm glad he's been caught. I'd heard there were no clues at crime scenes because they all occurred in locked rooms. Use a nail gun no to kill monsters in Quake is pretty heavily shoved. Isn't it? Isn't it rail gun? Not a nail gun? <sighs> I'm so relieved. By the way, who are you? You've got some nerve talking to me as if you know me. Oh, oh. sorry. No, it's literally a nail gun? Oh. That was a rail gun. Huh. There's two of them actually. So it's both? Or you just use two nail guns? Excuse me. I heard that the criminal called the nail man was caught. Really? That's big news. I better tell everyone. There's two different nail guns? Oh, okay. So who is this? Nail man. What? You don't know? I'm sure you've at least heard about him. He's the mysterious nail man. And I got the world's most famous urban legend. heard of it. Well, you should count yourself lucky then. Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone while going through your day? No. The nail man can make that wish come true. So the nail man is a hitman? All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. What the fuck? Then make a doll resembling that person. Work retail, it'll do that to you. And leave it at the forest you know what? behind the church. Fair enough. This summons the nail man. Who will kill that person for you? Or well, so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. <laughs> Scary. An urban legend of a murderer. This is just like Chapter Two but from Dong and Rumpo One. An urban legend, right? It was until six months ago. For the past six months, corpses kept turning up covered in nails. People were in an uproar, talking about how the nail man is real. But now, he's been caught. What kind of person would want to Shout copy to genocide the nail man? So true. He must have a screw loose or something. A killer from an urban legend. How creepy. Look, Master! All the hairs on my body are standing on end! But you don't have any hair. I guess that's all the info you can extract from these snooty people. Still, I think I get the gist of it. 
These nail man cases are based off an urban legend. They started six months ago. Grandma, it is an hour before the Bandai showcase. Wait, an hour? I thought it was 7.30. A similar case happened at the clock tower today, but a suspect was apprehended. That's about it. There's nothing else for me to know. Oh wait, are you EST? Yeah. Wait, what about those cases? They all happened in- oh, I haven't seen any locked room mysteries yet! Give it to me! I want it now! I- I doubt we can see the scene of the crime. Let's just head back. Come on, just a peek! Let's check out the clock tower one last time! Oh my god, Shinigami. Just one look, okay? What are we gonna do with you? Detective, the president of our company. No, of our nation. <sighs> I wouldn't say he's the best detective. There, there's a, there's a certain other detective that's much cooler. If you know, you know, and if you don't, well, I'd be surprised. Considering I make my whole personality talking about that detective, like ninety percent of it. Suki moment. So true. So are we actually gonna go in there now, or are we gonna sneak around? Daily reminder that Mizuki's are in oxygen. So true! Are we actually sneak around? Hey, that's not where you should be going right now. I guess not. I guess we're just going straight in. But how? Hmm? Something's up. Oh wait, there's a guy there. A kid. It can't be the Excuse me! What the Are you okay? Can you stand up? That can't be the killer. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice! Uh, uh, what do I do? You jumped in here without a plan? I couldn't help it. What were you thinking? You just doomed yourself! You're under arrest by the peacekeepers. If you resist, enforcement measures will be taken against you. Listen, you have no right to remain silent. You have no right to a lawyer. Awesome. Wait, please, listen to me! Put both hands on your head and get down! Any other action will be seen as resistance. <gasps> Yo! A coin? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> shit. God, they are so cool. Th th thank you, Alara. So they're not dead. Awesome. Isn't even worth a single point. This could have cost your life. Remember that. R right. Sorry. She's kind of raw. They, Miguel. They. I'm like you, Master. Hey, are you okay? Please, my dad needs help. Please, get my dad back from them. Please. Why is this guy? Why are his eyes huh? the same as mine? Almost. Get your dad oh, wait, they go by them. What yeah, their mean? gender is unspecified. My dad was arrested by peacekeepers. Which is pretty cool. At the clock tower, they say he's the culprit. Wait, that's your dad? But he was here to repair the clock tower. He has nothing to do with what happened. Doesn't Mama also go by they them? So. No, if I remember correctly, Mama's non-binary, but she uses uh she her. Never murder anyone. He has no reason to. So please, please get my dad back from them. All right, kid, calm down. I'll get your dad back. He's not dead. So you want us to prove your father's innocence? Is that an assignment? Assignment? 
Oh, he yes. has a portrait. I figured you could do it since you took them down so easily. How much do you have ready? Huh? Y you mean money? I don't work for cheap. I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. I have the mind and strength to make it possible. However, if you want my help, you will need to prove your resolve. I don't have any money. All, all I can offer is this. My dad and I played catch together all the time. It's my most prized possession. Hmm. What is that? A dirty baseball? Uh, hey! Out of the question. Well, give it back to him then. Oh, Lara, wait! You're not going to accept his request? Why should I? The only way to decipher someone's mind is to see how many chips they put on the table. If they cannot offer a fitting amount of money to prove their resolve, to me, they might as well not even exist. Wow. Big talk for someone who's all about the money. What kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid? That's what I'm saying. I'm a deaf god though, so I sure ain't one to talk. <laughs> oh, did he not offer enough? The ball itself may not be worth much, but the sentimental value it represents is priceless. If you think so, then you should take on the job. Huh? Me? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. I don't work for cheap. Uh, how much do you charge? Hmm. Preliminary estimates market at around 5 oh. million shien. Shien? Is that currency? Uh, how much is that? It's enough to purchase a luxury car. Of course. A luxury car? That much? By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. Yeah, that would have um, catastrophic consequences on the economy. Hmm. As, as, as funny as it would be. I'll be at the cafe nearby. Come see me once you've made up your mind. You will need my help eventually. And when you do... Call on a detective name. Do you think they'd like me? Or a nightmare. Do I think they'd like you? Huh. I don't know, so, Miguel. What'll you do, Master? Do you have the cash? Well I have to do this myself. What? Are you sure you can handle it? You think so? Oh, no, I don't care, as long as I can scope out locked room mysteries. Hey, leave your dad to me. He'll be fine. Miguel's a broke I ass, hope. so no. <laughs> <laughs> you confident or not? Thank you! Please save my dad! Looks like my master made up his mind. Now, let's take a peek at the crime scene. With the peacekeepers gone, now's our chance to strike! Hey, wait. Before that... What are we looking at? A phone? What is that? A tablet device. Wow, it's the Clock Tower murder report! This is a great find! It's the Monokuma file! Just as I thought. The details of the case are on here. Wait, is it actually a Monokuma file? Oh my god, it's even the fucking... It's got... <laughs> oh my god. Victim, female, age 20s to 30s, identity to be confirmed, estimated time of death, unknown. Time of discovery, approximately 7 a.m. The body was found around 7 a.m., and it's a little past 8 a.m. right now. So it's only been an hour since the body was first found. No wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. Another body. Anyway, Master, there's more to that report, right? Clergy member and several peacekeepers. There was a report of suspicious person behind the church. Oh! Huh. Yeah, I mean, think about it. The nail man, he nails people to stuff. Jesus was nailed to the cross. It's obviously someone a part of the church. A suspicious person behind the church? But the area behind the church is... All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the Nail Man, who will kill that person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. That's where the forest to summon the Nail Man is located. 
They pursued someone they thought was the mailman and found the body. So is Twitter dead? So is Twitter dead officially now or something? I fucking hope so. I got pinged again. Oh, never mind. It's just a fucking ghost ping or something. Uh, hold on. The door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime, the only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. As there are no other entrances, entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the mailman's modus operandi. There we go! Locked room mystery time! Yeah! Mysterious! I don't know why you're so excited. Does the mailman turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time? A phantom who vanishes like smoke. In a room with no way in or out. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Okay. Mondo? No, wait, that guy's way too, like, American looking. G. G. A. Colon, age 48. Occupation unknown. Huh. The peacekeepers captured some dude and assumed he's the mailman. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah, maybe you're right. You finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. Now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Yeah, let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up, you should go hide someplace safe. I'll be right back once I check inside. All right. Now off to the clock tower we go! The clock tower? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just give me a sec, chat, give me a sec. Hold on. Is it JoJo's reference? No, it's a Persona 3 reference. Okay, I have a feeling we're about to find a body, so I'm gonna turn off this music. in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower, so it should be right behind the store. There may be a corpse still in there. You've already seen plenty of corpses on the Amaterasu Express. Now hurry it up! That doesn't mean I want to see any more. To be All honest, right. here we go. Until I opened that door, none of it felt very real to me. Oh no. I've been treating the case as if it was something that happened to someone else long ago. Oh no. But the moment I opened the door, all of my delusions vanished in an instant. Those are just dolls, though. What is this? Am I supposed to? Real corpse? Am I supposed to like not some manic, feel shocked? Because I literally don't know who that is. How? Oh, why? She drank the grimace shake. No. Jeez, it's just some freakish, gruesome murder scene. Get it together. 
Like, I feel bad, but I'm not shocked, because I don't know who that is. So I just got here, so if I'm looking at it, this is the detective game, so I think the murderer is William Afton. Is it because the blood is purple? Is that why you think that? me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're dealing with a murder case in a city like this. You can either accept it or go insane. Blood is just a liquid, a body is just an object. Got it? Now take a look around before someone gets in your way. Chop chop! It's a very nihilistic way of looking at it. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Yep. Now let's start the investigation. All right. Here we go. Oh, also, any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. It will all materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later. I don't want to go back there anymore. Someone will die once the mystery is solved. <laughs> you are so naive. Having sympathy for the criminal you're catching. Blood place is suspicious. Investigation start. All right. I was gonna keep playing this yep, creepy music. It's a corpse. Okay. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? The moment we've all been waiting for. You're lucky you got here before they took it away, aren't ya? This goofy ass beat. Cause I just put on Danganronpa 1 music. I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse, not a doll. I don't know who this woman is. The peacekeeper report didn't include any details, but no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this! Cut the chatter, master! Hurry, hurry! This is terrible. The body is covered in nails pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. Oh. It looks like a rope burn. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. A victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. And it's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Seen it a bunch of times. So she was killed by strangulation? The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Hmm, I wonder why. It should have been easy to figure out. They didn't investigate at all! They got the chance to see a corpse up close, and they blew it! In any case, Finding out the cause of death is huge. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? This part. The window. So this is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. It must have been added later on. The window's big enough for someone to fit through. No, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. But on the V3 version? Maybe for the next case. According to the Peacekeeper report, the shutters were already. I forgot what the investigation the theme from V3 is called. I just put on Box 15 because that's the one that I remember. So they've been left alone like this. Well, hey, how about you that's the most iconic, them. I would say. won't open. It's locked. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? How did Despair open searching. Them? Got it. Maybe there's a secret password or something. No, I don't think it's a password. Hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. Oh, there we go. Alright, it opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. It's rather high up. Above the third floor on most buildings, it's impossible to jump off from here. 
Even if you try climbing down, there's nothing to hold on to out there. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Hmm, it'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. Locked again. Master, why are you still playing with the shutters? Do you want to be friends with them? So it automatically locks? No, that's not it. Now it won't be down. I get it. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. But when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. I don't get it. You're really fixated on these shutters. I'll make them a solution key for you. Just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. Okay. Hmm? There's something under the window. What's that? Did you find something interesting? What did you find? The bottom of the window is wet. Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. Then maybe it's the tears from the male dolls. <laughs> no more horror stuff! More dolls? Here too? These two are lined up and nailed together. Huh? What's this? A yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. Oh, yeah. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? Hmm. This is suspicious. You should remember this. Uh, what else can we look at? Doll on the wall. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. Ghastly sight. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. Butter, what did you just gift me? I swear to god. Butter, I swear to fucking god. You cannot keep doing this. I will accept it, but I will not agree with you saying that it's a better detective game. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? He gifted me a uh, judgment, Maybe it's to link it back which to is the actually a series I wanted to get into. So that's cool. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead, someone you hate so much you could kill. Them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it. I forgot judgments on PC. The church. You want the sequel by the way? Butter, please stop giving giving me games. You need to look after yourself, please. Who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. Okay, but it's really funny. Miguel, how would you feel if but he did this to you instead. Why so much trouble to imitate an urban legend? Or maybe it's the real nail man. Now I'm scared. I told you I'm not good with the cult and horror stuff. Shinigami, you're literally a death god. What are you talking about? Alright, what else can we look at? Uh... Door, I guess. This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get inside. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? They might have figured it was unnecessary. 
The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hard to tamper with it. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. Alright, what else can we look at? Enough. Oh. And that's a wrap. Oh. Well, we have to manually end the investigation. I see, I see. No, hold on. What's up? No. I guess it's for more detective points, I guess, maybe. What is this? I saw something over here. Are you looking by the way? None of the Yakuza games are on sale. I thought that would be Wait, Looks really? Like there's nothing left to check. None of the Yakuza games are on sale? That's surprising. Yeah, Wait, no, that's not true because I saw someone in Fidel Silver post about like every Yakuza game except for Seven being on sale. Could be wrong, bro. Like a dragon is none of the others are. Oh. Huh. It's a loft room mystery. There is nothing cute about this. Did I hear Yakuza? Yo, what's good, scenic? Miguel, what did you do? Did you gift me? <laughs> and now, Miguel spent money to give me the Ace Attorney trilogy. Y'all gotta calm down. What are you doing? I'm but thank you, Miguel. I'm butter. Anyway. Let's leave Can I give you a game? Scenic, you are not giving me, um, fucking Umbrella Court again. Huh? Oh, right. I had to contact Steam Support to decide so they could remove that game off my fucking account. I'm not- no, 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 I'm not mad, I'm just, like, concerned. Cause I don't want, you know, like, you to worry about your stuff. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, what's this ladder over here? How do I say this? Should we take a look? Oh, uh, whatever. There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about it. I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. I'm gonna turn off the going off the music now. I have 220 pounds of meat in my freezer. I'm good on food. Oh, so that's the clock. Butter, how many people did you kill? Was he about to head back home after fixing it? Or maybe he was just about to start fixing it. Probably doesn't matter either way. Nothing matters to me besides the locked room mystery. Well, I'll think about it later. Let's leave this place for now. Can we even go up there? Okay, we can't. Uh, I guess we're going down. The only things I kill are boot are cheeks. They call my bed the booty cemetery because there are because lots of cheeks have, have died there. Okay. Okay. No, that that those aren't those aren't bars. Oh, it's you. Oh? Did he find something? Huh? What's the matter? What's up? Find a body or something? Over here! Where are you taking me? How far does this go? Over here! Over here! Master? He's gonna kill me, isn't he? While you were checking the clock tower, I took a look around the building. Uh, my fan buys food in bulk. It's absurd. Uh, and I found fair these. enough. Footprints. Maybe these belong to the culprit. What? The culprit? I'm not sure. Let's check. There are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall, but it's only the heel portion. 
The only thing I can discern is that they weren't sneakers. They could be loafers, but the footprints seem strange. Oh? What's strange about them? Look, the footprints are facing the wall. This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. You're saying the guy disappeared through the wall? We're dealing with wall phasing man now? <laughs> First the nail man, and now this! It's a phantom party! And the end right under that window. Is this just a coincidence? Or does it have something to do with the murder? Um, what do you think? Are these the footprints of the real culprit? Hmm, well... To be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. They climbed up the window? Maybe there's like... a ladder? Because there was that ladder we saw in the clock tower earlier. At the very least, I hope I can prove the footprints aren't his father's. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad usually wear? Huh? His shoes? He usually wears sneakers. He was wearing them today. Does he ever wear loafers? Sometimes, but not usually. He would be one thing if he didn't own a single pair of loafers, but I can't rule him out yet. Still, I wouldn't want to waste the kid's discovery of these footprints. Mm, in that case, I'll remember it for you. If they use the nails to climb, I swear. you can find the real culprit? Yeah, I think. Maybe. I might need a little more time, though. I see. Oh, but don't worry. I'll find a way. Thank you. I know he's worried about his dad. If he really is innocent, I want to prove it. While I'm at it, maybe I should ask him more about his father. Um... Did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Um, my dad went out late last night to work on the clock, so I didn't see him this morning. He was out since last night, so he stayed the night here? That's his job. Mm -hmm. His job is to repair clocks? He doesn't just repair them, he also sells them. Bro, what are Watches you guys talking about too. in the chat, hello? Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Wait! The Peacekeeper report said his occupation was unknown. Maybe it's more convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the Nailman murders. Oh, he's getting framed as the culprit. They made up their minds and dropped the investigation. Does your dad also manage this clock tower? No, he only checks on that clock once a year. But yet the clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but he always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. He hates it? Why? Because he's afraid of heights. Oh. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower, but he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. A fear of heights. He's mm. afraid of climbing the clock tower and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Master, you're improving so much thanks to my training. You're even getting better at pretending to think. I'm not pretending. I'm serious here. Listen, all I'm saying is Freddy Bear could fuck up Monokuma. So true. Hmm? I hear noise outside. I hear talking. Maybe those guys woke up. Oh god. Let's take a look. If all the peacekeepers wake up, they'll be sure to pay you back for this. Oh no. Who the hell? Yo, what's good, Koro? Can't stay for long, but I hope you're having an awesome stream. Love Everyone, you, dude. Love you too, man. Please wake up. Hope you're doing up. well. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team This is another Koro character. Seth Burroughs. Trails in this high reference? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You're... late. Please wake up. 
This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief. Why does he sound like Happy Chaos? Maybe the same voice actor? I don't know. Let me carefully look up who voices him. Oh my god. Ah! Who voices him? Let's see. It appears there are fools in town who do not comprehend the majesty of the peacekeepers. Okay, no, it's not Robbie Damon, it's Landon McDonald. Many of them have been eliminated already. But I've heard, heard that some guy outsiders before. have recently arrived. Go find witnesses and extract information to see who has interfered with us. They may still be nearby. Capture anyone that even appears suspicious. I get they were trying to make it sound really loud because it's a megaphone, but like, come on. Oh, and did you clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. The rain in this city makes bodies rot quickly. You better hurry or it will. Bro, thanks for the show. That's what I'm saying. Listen up, Zeptograms. To speed this case along, we need to quickly deal with that nail man we arrested. We should even consider a public execution. Oh. Execution? That's a reference. This Seth guy doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible. In this city, what they say becomes the truth. Please! Please save my dad! The only way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit. I can do it. Leave it- Really? But first, we have to leave this area before they find us. Way out. You can pass through here to get back to a street in Ginma District. You might stand out if you're with me, so I'll go a different direction. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? Yes, I play around here often. Um, please help my dad. Yeah, just you wait. I'll bring some good news soon. All right, let's go. Yo, thank you to follow Champ Jamal. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Yo, how you doing? I guess we're going over here then. Say Yakuza, probably. I'm not very confident, but I can't ignore someone asking for help. If no one else is willing to listen, then it's up to me. Wow, get a load of this big shot. Didn't expect this what? You, Master. But how do you plan to find the real culprit? You can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. By the way, you can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. If you jump into the labyrinth now, you'll be lost forever. You need to gather more solution keys. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. Then how do you intend on solving this? There is one way. You're gonna rely on that one, huh? Always depending on someone else. What was the spot again? Something about a cafe? Are we actually gonna talk to Hilara? I thought they wouldn't help us unless we gave them, like, a shit ton of money. If you let them take the lead, you're gonna be out 5 million yen, right? Do you have that kind of money, Master? Or are you gonna go into debt? Bruh. 
Where are they? Oh, there they are. Alara, please help me. If Master is bowing to show respect, I guess I better do the same. Please, for both our sakes. Um. You're thirty minutes later than expected. So, do you have the cash? I don't have any on me right now, but I will eventually. Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately, but you will pay me 5,500,800 Xi'an eventually. Why that amount specifically? Hold on. 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 1 plus 8 is 9. That's a zero escape reference. Huh? But you said it was 5 million before. It's an additional fee for making me wait. And for the coffee. I told you, I don't work for cheap. There's no way coffee costs that much. Oh, come on. So ruthless. A greedy little money demon. I think I'll call this one Hell Aura. Huh? I won't force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. While you think it over... Did I'm you know that body odor is a Smash Brothers reference? Wow. Wait. You would know about I have that. To pay for that too. Of course. I'll add it to the bill. All right, I'll pay you all 5.5 million and 800 shin. Got it? Please don't add the cake. It's a deal. You made a wise choice. I have no obligation to help others, but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. That is my pride as a detective. I will be your eyes and limbs and help solve this crime with everything I have. However, know this. You must be the one to complete the boy's assignment. Uh, me? You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. In other words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Really, Halara? You'll be my assistant? Of course. I'm here to assist for your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. All right. Thank you. Master has no memory and no guts. And now, he has no money either. Talk about a triple threat! Oh, be quiet! So, what do we do now? To confirm, our target is the true culprit of the Nailman killings, correct? The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the Nailman and arrested him. But I refuse to accept that outcome. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the Nailman. Triple threat? Lost judgment? Butter? No? If that's what you conclude. No, then it's I'll not? Believe you, Halara. Believe? What a foolish line of reasoning. To believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. All people lie. All people change their minds. As a detective, you must suspect all others. Even me. Yep. A detective must doubt everything. Alright, I gotta I gotta go for now. Me and Alex are getting stream ready for Bandai. I'll come back here and let you know when Bandai starts to so, buy Nara. Adios, Miguel. Take care. Still, I will believe what you say, Halara. That's in like an hour and fifteen this. minutes, so we got some time left. Out of the question. Yo, they teased Panty and Stalking at Anime Expo. Wait, they did? Like a, a, like an actual like teaser or something or what? By the way, when you're done with this scene, can you check out old Halara is? Uh, I don't think any of the characters in this game have an age. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Wait, how tall is Halara? I'm pretty sure they're like tall as hell, if I remember correctly. 181. Yeah, that's taller than me. Holy shit. Everyone in this game is either tall as hell or short as hell. Uh, we have seven solution keys so far. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That's the WDOs. You're free to think of me as you Yeah, like a short one? Oh, okay. However, the truth must be found I'll check with that out later. Eyes. 
I still need to watch there the first is no season. Point in continuing as a detective. Do you understand? Yes. Continuing as a detective. I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. What's Alara trying to make me see? I'm no good at this. Hmm. A naive guy like yourself might be incompatible with such a straight-laced detective like this one. Maybe it would be nice to get news or at least a teaser on a Devil May Cry anime. Better. Wasn't that already a thing that, that happened like years ago? And it wasn't really that great? Vivia? I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right word. Anyway, Master, I've been wondering... Is this Halara person a man or a woman? Oh... Um... Now that you mention it, I have no idea. If you're ready, we'll start the investigation. I won't allow time to be wasted. Oh, right. You missed your chance to ask. But then again, I also don't really care. Apparently there is one being made by the Castlevania people. Oh. That'd be cool. You finished investigating the clock tower. If you get a new Hunter you? Hunter season, I'll dress up in a maid now outfit. Butter, you would dress up in a maid outfit cases. regardless if we got that or not. The past ones? These are serial killings, aren't they? Oh, so you want to investigate the past murders as well. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father I dress up is for you? Okay, the culprit butter. or not. My hands are up. Oh, but we don't know where the other crimes are up. took place. Should we ask around town? I already know. There are at least three additional crime scenes. A secret club in Kamasaki District. A mansion in a high-end residential district. And an art gallery in Gima District. Huh? When did you find that out? You think I did nothing? Wait, it's been two hours already? Oh, what the hell? I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. I don't think we'll be able to finish chapter one this stream, so I'll probably like cut it like halfway. We'll see. That's amazing. With my logic, anything is possible. But before we head to past crime scenes. The Nailman Urban Legend requires more research. Let's visit the legend's main state. The main state? Oh, you mean the church? I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. We should ask someone to guide us there. Then we should ask the chief. Oh, I totally forgot about him. He told me to gather everyone. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about that as well. Alara, oh, let's go back to the office for now. We're already way past the meeting time. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Y'all are not about to have an anime argument in my fucking chat, no way. Have you becoming a Ruby fan? Come on, Master! Do you have no sense of direction? Are we going this way? Up here? Where the fuck are we going? This person has a request, but I'm gonna. Ignore them for now. Where the fuck are we going? It says we have to go down? Hold on, let me check the case file. Okay, that's not gonna help us at all. 
Um, wait, hold on. Can I word map? Okay, so we're right here. Gamma district block tower? So I guess we have to go to the... Wait. Okay, we have to go to the riverbank. But how the fuck do we get there? That background noise that tripped the fuck out of me? Wait, what do you mean? Where are we going? I deadass thought someone was outside my house with the people talking. Oh. Uh... Bro, where am I going? Uh, the riverbank, but like, how do we get to the riverbank? We can't go this way. We have to climb up or something? Where the fuck am I going? It's not this way. What? No, it's like down. I'll check the mini map. New area map. Let's see. Um, okay, how? Kamasaki District Underground Sector. Okay, I guess we're going to the underground section. I genuinely can't wait for FNAF Plus to come out and Fidelis to play legit think that I will die playing it. <laughs> what is FNAF Plus even? Is that like an extension or something? I guess we're going down here? Oh yeah, okay. Got it, got it. What is this? Yo, another memory shard. Calm down. Oh, we're going back to the- oh, okay. We're going back to where fucking we met up with Yako. I think. Yeah. FNAF Plus is a fan-made remake of FNAF 1. It's supposed to be actually really scary. Oh, really? Huh. Okay. FNAF 1 isn't that scary. It's the peacekeepers. Oh god, Stay wait, what hidden. the fuck? Why are they here? Oh, oh, right. Chief. And that peacekeeper from the clock tower. What? Seth Burrows. Why does he have a bouquet of flowers? Is he gonna propose? <laughs> well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? Oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. I don't care. Huh? What, what did you say? I don't care. More importantly, you sent your detectives to interfere with the Nailman case, didn't you? We have witnesses. Eh? Nailman? Now that you mention it, there was a case like that before. Oh, wait, no, I don't know anything. <sighs> this flower, it's beautiful, isn't it? Huh? Created by Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. But unfortunately, once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours. When something beautiful withers, it fills me with an inexplicable sorrow. I feel so sad that... <laughs> it makes me want to sink a ship. I... I don't follow. The Nailman affair will be handled by the peacekeepers. You and your team will withdraw immediately. Bring in the detectives you sent out. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. Hold on! 
I, I don't know what detectives you're talking about, and I don't know where any of them are. I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. I'll not wait a second longer. If you fail to meet my demands, you will suffer the same fate as this flower. Fine, I get it, but can't you give me more time? Huh. He's gone. Chief Yako, are you all right? Oh, Yuma, and Halara, too. Yeesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. I know. We were watching from over there. Huh? You were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. Hold on. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was probably us. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why? What's going on? It's exactly as the Peacekeeper said. We are currently pursuing the Nailman case. We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. Yeah, I'm real busy now, thanks to you two! You're gonna keep investigating? Not gonna help your chief out of a jam? Look, we've got three hours before I'm taken away. If that happens, the last detective agency in town is done for. Would you rather hand us over to the peacekeepers? Does anyone want to know the Call, Call of Duty Zombies lore? Uh, I'm good. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. Though, I wouldn't want to do that either, if I'm being honest. Never mind, forget what I just said. Man, he does not know when to stop. What should we do, Halara? There's only one person who'll be taken into custody. It's not the chief, not us. It's the nail man. You will find the real culprit and turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. But we only have three hours. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. With my logic, anything is possible. Uh, I don't really get it, but it seems best to leave it to you two. You said you wanted to go to the church? Let me mark it on the map. You guys it's for the best that I don't tag about. along. If we're seen together, things will get even more sticky. I'll be right here, waiting for good news. I'm counting on you. you. Got it. We're off. Three hours. You've got three hours to solve the case. And I've got one hour until the Bandai presentation. Seriously, I'm counting on you. There's still so much I need to... Is this Danganronpa 4? Yes it is! Also, hey Nathan, how you doing? I mean, if Luffy and Mizuki met, they would be best friends, by the way. Yeah. Probably. You can get to the church from Kamasaki District. Time is short. That's how you know Luffy is that guy. Let's hurry! Oh, it is punk graffiti? Mm. I'm so glad I followed your Twitch because I can't see anything on Twitter right now. Is it still broken? Hmm? Oh, God. Huh? Alright, that graffiti is pointless. Going back up. It's a television. I've been checking, it's not as bad, it's still kind of ass. Master! But That's a rap rat! That's a rap rat! Why should call him master? It's so weird. I don't know. Not gonna lie, for a Switch game, it actually looks pretty good. It does. 
They got like hella good lighting and like puddle physics and stuff. It's pretty good. It's not 60 FPS, but honestly, like, I'm surprised it can stay even like 30 FPS. I know how it is in handheld. I mean, I have a OLED, so it probably looks like. It's probably, it probably still looks good. So the Nailman urban legend originated at this church. There aren't any ghosts here, are there? It's safe! You're I... literally one yourself. Hmm. <laughs> What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. Oh. Huh? Why is that? Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. Just look at the tragedies the city has seen. There mm. is no god to save you. The lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? Oh. I don't know about that. Depends on the individual. Forget it. For now, let's talk to the people around the church. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're on assignment for the peacekeepers. Is it okay to lie like that? Whether it's okay or not is secondary. Our priority is to solve the case. Wait, some huge Twitter shit came out? Oh shit, what happened? In order to achieve that, deception is at times required. Now, let us educate those who are here that their true savior isn't beyond the rain cloud. What the fuck? Um, what is it? You wanted to speak about? I've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch of times. How many times do I gotta say it? Why does the nun have box ears? So apparently Twitter's contract with Google Cloud right ran out, which is resulting in outages. Elon straight up lied. No, 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 I'm pretty sure it was a combination of that. Like, it was that plus, you know, who. <laughs> Hasn't the culprit already been arrested? Well, I don't mind. I have time to talk. <sighs> These guys do not look religious at all. Uh, um. How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? Oh, yeah. Um, we have to question them, right? It's your move. Play your card. Do I really have to do this? I guess Halara seems intent on being the assistant. In my opinion, it'd go much faster if Halara did this, Master. But I have to do it. No point in wasting time thinking about it. <laughs> time for it. Are you the priest of this church? That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. Not gonna, not gonna lie, the nun is kind of hot. Okay, butter. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. Thus, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. That is my mission, as the divine has guided me to do. I don't get why, but he sure seems proud to be a priest. Do you know about the nail man? Of course. I have no idea how that rumor spread around. Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation, which created the fantasy of the Nail Man. Why is he looking, why is he looking an Oblivion character? Probably because of his hair. Salvation? The people of this city must be crazy if they look to the Nail Man for salvation. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. I know how they feel. <laughs> I want to tie you up and go to a world where it's just you and me, Master. Like, Jin Soft, everyone. Me and Tama? Okay, Butter. Okay. Isn't it basically already like that? Um, you are. What are you, blind? I'm a nun, obviously. You got some nerve calling me here out of nowhere. Yo, welcome Do to the chat, Miss Sonia. Thank you for the follow. Why does this nun kind of remind me of, um, Mew from, uh, Bang and Rampa V3? I'll kill your ass in the name 
of God. That's funny. Sorry. <laughs> She's the type my master has trouble with. I'll have you know. My dad is a higher up at Amaterasu Corporation. I don't care if you're on a mission from the peacekeepers. If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret it. Right. Um, I'd just like to ask some questions. He's even I'll doing like quick. the box sign of her hand. Look. Do you know anything about this nail man? You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well, I have seen someone going into the forest late at night. Whenever I've gone into the forest afterward, I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls have names written in what looks like blood. It's creepy as hell, really. In other words, it's totally metal. Okay. I see. By the way, what happened to your right hand? Did you get hurt? Hey, don't stare. It's nothing. I went a little overboard while practicing an instrument. Instrument? I'm working on this new thing I call death metal choir. Oh, so she's around on the Ibuki. And... Okay. Well, you know. Is that your dominant hand? What kind of question is that? You want to die or something? Oh. Uh, she's also Maki, I guess. It, it is her dominant hand. I'm sure of it. I see. <laughs> She's cool. Too bad she's not going to be that much relevant after this chapter. And you are... I... I do the odd jobs, like cleaning around the church. His head looks like a penis. Butter, why'd you point that out? I also care for the forest. Do you know anything about the mailman? I... I, I often patrol the woods, but I'm usually asleep at night. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them up. I've never seen the nail man himself, but I've seen people enter the forest plenty of times. Have you ever talked to them? I have, but they typically run away. Some get surprised Bro, Barber and played a prank on him, honestly. Behind. I chase after them to give them back their dolls, but I'm never fast enough. They always get away. That makes sense with a body like that. I understand. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm sure. Just casually, like, bash shame him. Real cool, Shinigami. Real cool. Alright, uh, I think I have to talk to this guy as well. Excuse me, but you. Do you even have to ask? You know who I am. No, I don't. Huh? No, I think today is the first time we've met. What? You're investigating the nail man, and you don't know who I am? No. What's that supposed to mean? This must be the clergy member on the report who was the first to find the body. Oh. Yeah, that's right! I was the first on the scene! Right, it was on the report. I'm impressed Halar was able to realize it so quickly. This looks like some someone from Judgment, but fruity. Or Soma from Judge, I don't know who that is. I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. But I don't work here, so it's not like I'm a clergy member. I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, you know? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on nail man activity for a while now. This guy is definitely suspicious. So you know a lot about the mailman. Looks like 2015 Markiplier. That's an understatement. Kinda? Fact, you could say I'm an expert in mailman research. In that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. You do? Then who do you think the real killer is? The real mailman, obviously. The peacekeepers are making Big mistake. Listen, the nail man exists. The nail man is summoned through a ritual and commits murder based on a sacrificial doll. That's impossible. Yeah, I get it. You probably want proof. In that case, look for a doll in the forest. You'll find a nail doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. 
Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. Just follow someone in town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run in with the nail man. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. I see. So you can guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. I was so close at the clock tower, too. I found someone whose name matched a name tag and figured out she was heading to the clock tower. I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Damn it! If only I'd acted sooner. I was so close to meeting the nail man. I guess he just wants to meet the nail man and doesn't care about preventing the murders. So he's an occult enthusiast? Seems like a huge weirdo. You only just realized that? I've talked to everyone. Halara, is there anything you'd like to ask them? Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? What else should I ask about? I think Twitter is good, is it? Let me check. No, it's still broken on my end. Notifications work, but everything else is, uh, fucked. It's working normally on my phone again? Oh, your phone? Let me check my phone. Uh... No, it's still broken for me. Um. Hmm. Oh well. It's working on your desktop now. That's where it's normal for me on go. Maybe it has to update for me. Um, there have been several nail man cases in the past, right? Does anyone know anything about past cases? You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah, you can ask me anything about the nail man, including all past cases, obviously. I was the first to find the body every time. Huh? Every time? There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then, I look for whoever's supposed to be the next victim. But every time I find a victim, they're already dead. Being the first on scene each time? It sounds super suspicious. You think I'm suspicious, don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. But the thing is, I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. All of the crime scenes had no way in or out. So I'd open them with someone nearby, or by asking the peacekeepers. So the body's discovery was never done alone. If that's true, then all the rooms really were locked. Master, why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now? Can you tell me more about each case? There have been three Nailman cases in the past six months, excluding the one at the clock tower. Hmm. The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. It's essentially a members-only casino. The victim owned the place. Casino? At the time, the nail man was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But I had a personal interest in the nail man, so I started researching him, and then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the nail man. And that crime scene was also within a locked room? Yeah. All of the Nail Man crime scenes have common characteristics. There's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. And also, the murderer leaves no trace behind. Isn't that bizarre? See why I'm so interested in the Nail Man? I totally get it. Don't empathize with him. The secret club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second... It was at a mansion in the residential area near Ginma District. About three months ago, the mm. owner of the mansion was murdered in the building's study. The crime scene again took place in a locked room with a corpse and doll covered in nails inside. 
It's always with locked rooms. Considering all this, there's no doubt it was committed by the Nail Man. By then, I knew the legendary Nail Man had descended upon Kanai Ward. The third locked room mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma District. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. And today, the fourth locked room mystery happened at the clock tower. That's every single Nail Man case. At least, for now. I'm sure the Nail Man will continue on. He will enact revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. No, because he was arrested. Actually, no, wait, no, not the real one. Never mind. All right, about the dolls. That reminds me. Is there yeah, I gotta go, but this is a lit. This was lit. I'll definitely ceremonies? be watching more of your streams. Have a good night if I don't come back. Much love. Yo, adios, butter. Take care. I know a few have been found at the crime scenes too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Doll shop? Huh? You haven't seen one? What are you, a foreigner or something? Around here, all the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. They were mostly souvenirs for tourists. But that industry is long gone now. Some places still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. I see. So they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. Also, I just realized I have to VIP queue, though. I don't know why. There are so many people that I thought were already VIPs, but apparently weren't. Alright. Uh, this. Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? Wow, what a vague question. Oh, uh, now that you mention it, what is it? Please, any small detail will help. Something strange was burning in the incinerator earlier. What do you mean by strange? Like, I thought it was a rope, but all mm. I can say is it, it looked strange. Um, can you try drawing what it looked like? It does look like some sort of bizarre rope. That's odd. It's like a centipede with legs missing from one side. Looks delicious. What? I was worried that it wasn't supposed to be burned. So I tried to take it out. But I was too late. It was completely incinerated. Hmm. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it. But everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. So, no one here recognized it? I don't even work here in the first place. Only clergy can access the incinerator, but no one claims to have thrown it away. Hmm, I don't know if this has anything to do with the case, but something's fishy. A watchmaker was arrested earlier. He's suspected of being involved in the mailman incident. Does anyone know anything about him? A watchmaker? You mean G.A. Colin? I've asked him to fix the church clock several times to think that he's the male man. Well, it hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, I see. But if it were him, no one would blame him. What do you mean? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. The male man was born out of our situation. Huh? You mean the nail man is what the people actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it, but the nail dolls continue to appear in our forest. If the nail man acts as their agent, then they are also the nail man. That's how I see it. What do you think? It's true. The nail man could be seen as a savior to some people. After all, he kills the people you want dead for you. I mean, the victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over, right? <sighs> I think 
I've asked about everything I wanted to find out. Looks like time is almost up. Let's get going. Was that okay? That's not a savior, yes. that's a hitman. Well, Thank you for your some might argue otherwise. You should study their face as well. They may end up being accused of the murders. Hmm. Huh? You need to remember every face so you can spot them even if they flee through a crowd. W wait! Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. There's not enough information yet to act on. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. Uh, okay. Well, the first murder occurred at... The secret club, right? Wait. Yeah, no, it was a secret club, I think. It's the secret club in the Kamasaki district, right? Correct. Let's hurry. I won't allow time to be wasted. Alright, here we go. Oh. That's true. Why is that a thing? Huh. thinking the first incident was six months ago right if we go to the crime scene now there's nothing left to investigate you think it will be a waste of time there's no need to worry about that so you have a plan then what you're working with Halara nightmare what more could you possibly ask for now let's be swift huh right I don't really get it but talk about confidence they are confident. The secret club! I smell a mystery! I'm all Over here. This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Are they gonna chop it? Wow. They got hands. It's open. Let's go inside. Yo, it's the fucking casino from nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. That's crazy. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found so, around here. Wait, what? Do you think Fidel is William Afton? What? The victim's name what is kind of a question is that? An old man who owned this place. Wait, his name is what? The victim's name is Suguma Iho. Suguma? Tation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. 
Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows? The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside? It's a locked room mystery! Locked room mystery! <laughs> but there's not much more to investigate. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte! Let me check something real quick. Anti Namco Showcase 2023. Okay, it's in like 30 minutes. Um, it's gonna be on the Anime Expo Twitch channel. Got it. Oh, they're live right now. Okay. Well, I guess they'll talk about it in like half an hour. You see, Fidel colors purple, and Fidel drowned that kid when he was at the pool, and Fidel hates Tails, and Tails is a kid. Have you seen Fidel and William Appen in the same room? You know what? I am just gonna pretend what you said makes sense. Man, she sure loves locked rooms, huh? My yeah. forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. However, it can only be used at murder scenes. To be precise. I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. That is a weird ass forte. That's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. When it comes to my power, the witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. Let's it's see similar that power. to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. But now it's done in the real world. Although it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's good at nothing. Why is life so unfair? Now I'm angry. Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? Of course not. That's a truth thing. Oh no. Post cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you? What is it this time? Master, try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? You know, when the other master detectives used their powers? This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it! Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing! Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? But there are conditions for it to activate. You must kiss someone to share their ability. Oh. What? Kiss Halara? Yo, thank you for the follow, Raz. Welcome to the chat. Ha! I lied. Oh, did you blush? Did 
did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. Oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. You need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then, you must hold hands while the ability is active. That's it. Okay, I can do that. Um, Halara. Hmm. Halara? I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. <laughs> Coalescence. Hold hands. You and me. Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Yeah, but I just remembered I had it. Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I despise you. Uh oh. Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. Oh. I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. I despise all of humanity equally. Oh, they're like this. Okay. I don't trust anyone. Except the dead. <laughs> I had a feeling. Halara must be a demon straight from hell. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Then please, hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. You can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. Don't make this weird. Why is she... or why are they... different than a moment ago. Incredible. So this is post-cognition. Can you really see it? So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. This is quite the bizarre crime scene, but unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. Now, let's see what you're capable of. All right, time for the investigation again. We got some actual music this time, too. Let's see, we got... Glass on the counter, that's it. Uh, hmm. Oh. Hand holding! Cut in! Go! A key. Oh! There's a key in the glass. Is it the key to the room? Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. So this is definitely another locked room mystery! Hooray! I'm so glad I met you! Okay.
Uh, the slot machine, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I guess that's it, maybe? Yeah, okay. Unless... That's... Well... Uh... What else can we look at? Table, perhaps? Oh god. Hmm? Yeah. That's... I see. Oh, sick. I love hand-holding simulator. This isn't Eternites, though. <laughs> Alright, nothing on the table, then. What a rich Ah, uh, the counter seat. That's... Hmm. Broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in, like at the clock tower. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with. What does that mean? Oh, God, what the hell? A body. I see a body. The murder scene through Halara's eyes is completely silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. This all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. Damn, they got nailed? God damn it. There are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. And it's so, so quiet. There's a vent. How sussy. Hey, this vent. The cover is in place, but it hasn't been screwed on. Which means it could be easily removed, right? What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. So why is the blood purple? It's it's like that for Danganronpa in, I guess, this game too. It's just the style they chose. Oh. I see. But I think this will be an important clue. The vent is about 40 by 30 centimeters. A thin adult can probably pass through. I knew it! Yeah. Calling card? Like Persona? Oh wait, the corpse itself. Duh. It's a man's corpse. He's probably around 60 years old. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. Countless nails? Bro, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nails. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Oh. There are marks on him, signs that he was strangled. The vertical scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. Bitch, Give can you to everything I taught you at the be nice? I'm such an awesome mentor. This situation is I. One sec. Identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death. In like, and like, mm, I want to say maybe like at 7:25, we'll open up the Bandai stream and see. But why? 
what's going on with that. Alright, um... Anything else we can have in? Nope. By the way, Yuma, did you notice the nail below the vent? Below yeah. the vent? Yeah, it's like huh, bent. Some of the nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Or perhaps there's another re another reason. Hmm. I think that's about it. All right, that's it. That should do it. There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before. But it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post cognition. Did the band I already say what they were doing or were they announcing things? So they're gonna be like announcing things related to games. Um they're gonna have like some surprises, I guess. I don't really know. It's exhausting. The one thing I'm hoping for is clients. Scarlet Nexus 2, but <laughs> the odds of that ever happening is so slim. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Gima District. I have an idea of where to go. Let's hurry there. Let's go. All I want is Elden Ring DLC and Budokai 4. If they're gonna show Budokai 4, the best place they could show it is here. I'd be surprised if they didn't. The building we're heading to is accessed through Gima District. Let's hurry there. Alright. I guess you're not gonna lead the way. Let me actually check to see where we have to go. Uh, oh, we can just fast travel. Never mind. Nathan at the IP. Do that. Or actually, not good by Nathan actually. There we go. Either one out or use the nails to go in. No, they probably use the nails to like leave the vent. That's my guess. I had a suspicion that they used nails or something to like get through that window in the clock tower. It might be. I might be correct. I have a green sword now. Oh, nice. Yo! We had a green sword. Just like. I don't know. That game has green swords. Not Minecraft. No such thing as a green sword in that game. There's a large mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. That's I don't question it. Does anyone know what the verse icon I have is for? Um, Super Ultra Combo 2023. I actually don't know what that's for. Maybe you watched like a certain stream at the time As and expected. got a badge for it. Oh. Are you sure? Okay, sure. You can just break the thing down. Go ahead. Wait! I mean, they are strong. They already proved that by kicking or beating those guys up earlier. Looks like a haunted mansion. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. He had no family and lived alone. The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. Okay, sure. 
the Nailman killings had another common factor, besides the locked room. The first person to find the body was always the same person. Hmm. That worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the Nailman and had access to the names of potential victims. Maybe he's the one who wrote all their names down. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene. I don't think time. he's the nail man, but I do think he's involved some way. Apart from just being the first witness. I guess I shouldn't assume things going on. He's gotta be like this. the one writing their names down. That's right. And then like checking to see if they actually died or not. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Ha! Think your partner's now? Just because you held hands with my mask. I'll have you know, Master and I are connected on a much deeper level. Don't make it sound so suggestive. Feels like a jump scare's coming up. Boom! What are you doing? So this is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here, too. Let's see. There's nothing left here, either. It's all cleaned up. I don't want to do it, but I suppose I can share my post-cognition again here. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. All right, here we go. Um, okay. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, I guess we're just looking. Okay, bookshelf near the hallway. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before it. It all happens in silence, as though awakening from an eternal slumber. But the corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. There are no windows and the Holy vent is small. Dead. I don't see yeah, any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Just some flesh wounds, nothing too big. Uh, okay. First, the bookshelf, I guess. Yeah. I see. Nothing. Okay. Uh, the doll on the wall, perhaps. There's only one doll nailed to the wall. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Wait. This doll has both eyes gouged out. Holy shit, it's a reference to the Somnium Files! Did the culprit do this on purpose? Except this both eyes are gouged around, not just the left one. Nine minutes of the Van Dyke Showcase, right back to the shadows. Thank you, Miguel. Yes. But it's kind of creepy cute. I want to put one next to the top of the staircase so people can run into it at night. Uh, why would you want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is staring into me. Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. Looks like a string rubbed against it. How did this mark get here? Mark? Where? Near the eye holes? I can't... I can't see it. Okay... I think that's everything here? Let's check out the painting, maybe? Slightly tilted. Stack 
books. Question mark. Hmm? Hmm? Well. Yeah, it's nothing. Uh, the bookshelf. Uh. Hmm. A doll on the floor. Oh! Oh! It's <laughs> always so funny to hear those voice lines. It's me. See, it appears. Uh, nothing useful here, then. All right, let's see. Uh, fish tank, maybe. Uh, it's a lamp. Oh, oh. Switch? Uh, nope. What about the actual fish tank? Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, wait, the projector. Good Spartan, so welcome shut to the chat. The inside. Oh, what's this now? Master, I discovered something. There are marks in the gap between the fence, like something scraped against it. Really? But given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Halara, uh, <laughs> can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 shen. You're charging me for it? I just. Hmm. Very funny. As if the marks in the vent they already to haven't put me in debt yet. Strings rubbing against it. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. See? My toes tried to deep my ass today, but I'm still kicking. How are y'all? I'm sorry. Around. What? Also. You should give me ten thousand yen as a reward. It's seven twenty-five, which means I'm gonna put up. The Bandai stream soon. Okay. Um. Here, after this piece of dialogue, let's turn on the stream. All right. Uh. Actually, wait. The door, maybe. The door here can only be locked with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. This is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. Okay, it looks like Twitter is slowly but there is back one up. Difference. The key was found Never mind. underneath the corpse. Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Postcognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo taken back then in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Right. Okay, hold on. Let's, um, here. I'm gonna pause the game for now and put on the browser. Let me see. Properties. Chrome.exe. Y'all can see the thing, right? Alright, there we go. Let me know if y'all can see and hear the thing. You can hear it? Alright, cool. I will be right back. I'm just going to go 
Uh, real quick. Give me a sec. Welcome back to AX Light. I'm Angel and this is Jordan. Up next, we have Bandai Namco panel. Can you tell us some more about that, Jordan? Yes, girl, I'm so excited. AX has been going, first of all, amazingly, but listen, for the gamers out there, we are winning this summer. Y'all already know, Summer Games Fest just happened for video games. And so Bandai Namco had a lot to tease and everybody else, but listen, Bandai, they've dropping some heat, y'all. Like, listen, I'm so excited about it. We've seen them drop Elden Ring, Dragon Ball Fighters, Tekken, Soul Calibur, some of those games. I hope we have Tekken teasers coming up. Because if we do, it's, it's gonna be fire. Like, I'm just so pumped about it. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of Tekken, actually. I DJed their um, universal competition that they just had, and it was just amazing to see it live. So I'm super excited to see that as well. Yeah, were you able to, like, see the, the presence of, like, the gamers and how, like, like they be going at each other? Yes, you know? they're, they're actually the finalists, uh, the USA finalists, and they were going hard. Like, it, it's no joke, okay? It's very, very serious. <laughs> it is extremely intense. Like, we just saw the segment as well. Charisma was out there playing with the guys on Mortal Kombat, but, like, gaming, it gets intense. Like, it is not a joke. And for anime <laughs> games, too, it's no difference. Yeah, he was over there playing Mortal Kombat, sweating, okay? It's no joke out here. It's real deal. <laughs> That's the first thing you called out. You were like, look at him. And we were like, we were like girl, what, what is happening with him? Yeah, they were trying really, really hard. That's how I be when I play games, too. I, I agree. I be sweaty. I be trying to win. I'm super competitive, so. Hands all sweaty, everything. <laughs> like, I don't know if my hands get sweaty because it's nerves or if it's just because I'm trying right, to win. I'm back. Like, Did I miss anything? <laughs> Yeah, so what else are you looking forward to in AX as we wait for the panel? Hopefully not. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing what's new, new collaborations, new shows coming up, and there's a lot of interesting collaborations that I wouldn't expect wait, wait, that me... would be collaborating, and it's really interesting to see. So I'm super excited to see what's up and what's next. Not yeah, just talking? I agree about right, the cool. collabs for sure, because like we saw with Toho, you I was like, Elden Ring Street Fighter is my ah, family. That was definitely darn. not on the 2020 I video totally card care about me. Elden and, like, Ring. I can't wait to get home. Like, Not that I'm trying to rush AX, but I can't wait <laughs> to get home and play Street Fighter and get my Anya skin. Like, That's going to be so fun. Wait, huh? So I agree with you on the Anya collabs skin. for sure. What other panels do you, what? are you looking forward to? Oh, you know, the one I'm really looking forward to is the Bleach panel. I think it's tomorrow or Monday. The I can't remember specifically. They have Ichigo's voice actor in the building. And I'm a huge Bleach fan personally, so very, very excited about that one. But I'm also excited about Bandai Namco's panel coming up right after this. So, Angel, I guess that's going to do it from us. I guess so. Wait, Street Fighter <laughs> right, 6 is Stick around. We've got this collaborating panel with I hope Spy you enjoy Family? Thank what? You. I'm Mario Bueno. I will be your host for the evening, and it sounds How like that even has been work? a wonderful first day at Anime Expo. So let's get some quick housekeeping out of the way. Don't worry, this is the fun kind, because while supplies last, for those of you here, we have goodie bags that will be handed out to you when you leave the panel. So please, please, please. Yo, goodie bags. I love not being able to have physical one. goods. Now, we're not going to hold you up too much longer. We want to bring our panelists on stage and get this. It's on the road. So first up, Spy Family I would costumes like for the to characters. For Naruto Maybe. Cross Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections, please welcome Hotaka Suto-san. All right. Next up. For Button Kaitos, 1 and 2 HD remaster, he loved you all at Anime Expo so much that he's back for a second year in a row. Please welcome to the stage, Koji Nakajima-san! So, these are the games, I guess, they're going to show? <laughs> Next up... For Sword Art Online, last recollection. Sword Art we Online. Yosuke Futami -san We're scenic. You want to change categories for this? Eh, not really. How long is this actually? And finally, for Sandland, give it up for Keishu Minami -san. Sandland. Isn't that like the other Toriyama thing? 
and last but certainly not least, the awesome person who was just sitting to my right and is now relocating, the literal voice of our guests for tonight. Interpreting for us is the incredibly talented Junko Goda. Let's give it up for Junko! Junko and Ashima? <laughs> All right. Everyone wants to get to the good stuff, so let's go straight into it. Uh, Suto-san, if you would be so kind, please take it away. So we're not getting Dragon Ball also, stuff then? Please let me speak in English only for my introduction. Well, okay. hello everyone. Woo! Hello. Nice to meet you all. And uh, are you enjoying Anime Expo? Hey, great. So I'm Hota Kasto, or the producer of Naoto Cross Border Automated Ninja Storm Connections. And today, I would like to share the new information pertaining to the game to everyone. And oh, we also have a new trailer that will be reviewed. Yo, today, a new trailer. For the first time here. So please, uh, look forward to it. I might have to deafen this or mute this if there's like copyrighted music. So I'll switch to Japanese. Oh, wait, I guess we're not doing the trailer yet. <laughs> First, let me give you an overview of Naruto Cross Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. The game celebrates the 20th anniversary of the Naruto anime and the game and includes a history mode where players can experience the story from Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. そして、バトルでは過去最大となる130キャラクター以上のプレイアブルキャラクターを使うことができます。So in addition, over 130 playable characters in online and offline battle, which is the largest roster ever out Yo, of the series. That's huge. Okay. Thank you. And more. What's, what's the end more? So, in addition to the history mode, we also have the original story mode where Boruto is the main character. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're getting Scarlet Nexus too. about this very special story mode, and you'll be seeing it for the first time here. I don't think we're getting Scarlet Nexus 2. Let's, let's see. Alright, let's see if I have to deafen this. Let's see. Well, I guess they deafened it for me. Oh, never mind. They started from something so small. How far? Will you go? Get I don't even know what I'm watching. Are you seriously going to war? The world craves conflict. Still gonna stop me? Cat, I'm gonna be so for real right now. I've never watched a single Naruto thing in my life. So I don't know any of these characters. <laughs> so good. To have such a bond so easily broken. Do you really think doing this would get your wish granted? No one can stop it now. And Zero shall provide the reign of power. The Zero? Like from Zero Escape? Like hell it is. The fifth great ninja war is only a matter of time. I'm not gonna let you do it. To bring pain to the world. What did you think about it? I have no thoughts. I don't know anything about Naruto. All I know is that there is an edge lord voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. As mentioned in the beginning, Boruto will be the main character of this special story mode. I'm actually about to like just not watch this anymore. 
The story starts out with Boruto meeting a girl from a popular online game, Ninja Heroes, and eventually leads mm. them into a battle involving the entire ninja world. He met an e-girl? What? That, that can't be... That can't be real, right? Also, I believe you might have noticed scenes where Naruto and Sasuke were being attacked, or a new word, the fifth great ninja war, showed up. Maybe something strange is going on, and you might be curious about these details. I haven't noticed a damn thing. So, furthermore, we have two new original game characters. They are Nanashi and Mertz. Oh. So these these guys aren't in the anime. Wait, who met an e-girl? Apparently, Boruto or something. I don't know. That's what they just said. They said that he met her through like some online game or whatever. Popular online game Ninja Heroes. Yeah, see. Is a mysterious man who plans for war. Oh, it's it's that girl, I think. The key characters of the story. So I hope you look forward to discovering how these new characters in Boruto will be part of the story. So you you all can help keep the journey going when this is released. はい。そして最後にナルトのバナーがサウスホールのエントランスに飾られていますので、皆さんご覧になられたでしょうか。Last but not least, did everyone see the massive Naruto banner on the South Hall entrance? All right, well, if you haven't hey. yet, oh wait, what the hell? And take lots of photos. また明日もですね、ナルトブースでは本作のフルリバトルがプレイできる集大もあります。Oh, there's a fucking Chrome thing that bypasses the Twitter uh, thing, the rate limit. Fuck yeah. Let me just copy this. そして、ゲームだけではなくフィギュアも展示していますので、ぜひ遊びに来てください。so the booth itself is a recreation of the Hidden Leaf Village. So there's a and there's also a large Kurama balloon and other figures. So definitely stop by and take a look. So everyone, thank you very much for having me here today. Yeah, woo. And thank you very much as well, Suto-san. Next up. We have Nakajima-san here to tell you everything you need to know about Baten Kaitos 1 and 2 HD Remaster. Take it away, Nakajima-san. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm not watching this anymore. We're not getting Scarlet Nexus 2. I have to accept it. Wait, not that one. I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated to the case. Oh. This is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledge the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Was that a compliment? Is that really all it takes to please you? Also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Yeah, okay. But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? That's surprisingly cute. Maybe they like cats? Strangulation as well. And my 
with the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look, there's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. There are two different types of string marks in the body. Was he strangled twice? But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age, but along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Perhaps they feel no responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait, this is odd. Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. The Birthday? length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. Well, what do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso would not penetrate all the way through the body. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down oh, yeah. his waist. <clears throat> The fuck? The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. That's disturbing. I wanted to say something, but... Never mind. I think we're done here. Looks like there's nothing left to check. That's that. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? There's no way to solve it with what we have. How was the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you. It won't come cheap. I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Now, let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. Wait! Alright. Um, let's do the last crime scene and then let's finish it up there. And then we'll do the, uh, the next labyrinth one is the art next stream. In Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Right. The chief's in danger after all. Oh, that's how I... Okay, that's cool. Mini map.
Wait, where do we have to go even? Come on, let me... We have to go to... Okay, we're here. Let me check profiles. Oh, it like shows us stuff on the other characters, okay. Update... Okay. Uh... I don't see anything new here. Ability, ML Interaction Coalescence. Seventy-seven. This guy is still taller than me by like two centimeters, I think. Likes wind instruments. Dislikes untuned instruments. Okay, sure, whatever. They even got entries for the random ass NPCs. Likes baseball. Dislikes loneliness. Okay then. Likes his son. Dislikes wasting time. Oh, I get it, because he's a watchmaker. Aha, I get it. Aha, aha. That's funny. Likes faith. Dislikes atheists. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Likes death metal. Dislikes people who can't, can't get into music. Honestly, real. Likes anime figures. Dislikes violence. Talent video games. Okay. This guy is just Hifumi. Likes urban legends, dislikes a world filled with happiness. Oh! That just gives me more reason to suspect them. Alright, where are we going? Oh yeah, this way. Now we're going inside this giant mansion, I think. So this... Is the art gallery? Oh wait, no, it's an art gallery. Duh. It's closed due to special circumstances. We're just the in the mansion. The murder only about a month ago, but I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. Kick that door down. Wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery. <laughs> hmm. Did you say something? <laughs> That's our Halora! The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. W wait, please! I guess we're going in there. Let me check something, actually. Uh... Oh! Well? Well? Okay, we can't go there. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. Okay. We're like a couple of thugs or something. Some classic paintings. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshiper. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the victim's corpse. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. Oh. What do you mean special? People have died. Let's start investigating. Yes.
Investigation time. Alright, let's see. There's the corpse. Whose cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes. Even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery, the smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. The victim's name is Issa Moe. She used her good looks to have relations with many men. Oh. The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count. So what you're saying is her body count is extremely high. Okay. The victim has those same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And you noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. It looks pretty deep. This may be the real cause of death. else I guess. We could look at something different now. Uh, let's see. We got this. A small window. The only way in or out of here besides the door is this window. The window jets out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. You should check the window in the present, just to make sure. Currently, it opens outwards slightly, but there are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. so it couldn't have been used. Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. And I need to find out what that trick is. Useful. The painting. There's a nail stuck in a painting. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. Why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick and twisted. Hmm. Skits. Oh! No. Yeah. 
Hmm. Nothing useful here, I guess. inside the room at the time of discovery. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. That staff member always carried the extra key and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Where was the key found inside usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office, but it's unknown if it was always there. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? I guess you wouldn't. No, don't. No, 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 no. Oh my god, stop. Okay, there we go. What else can we look at? By the way, hello. I will not accept any requests to reduce your fee. That's not what I was going to ask. About your postcognition. What were you able to see before you specialized it as your forte for invest- What is the point of this question? Well, I was wondering if you could use your ability to look at my past. You want to see your lost memories like that? That's against the rules! <laughs> the fact of the matter is, even if I could see your past, the information would not be of any use to you. Huh? Why is that? Psychometry doesn't allow me to pick and choose what to perceive. Rather, I can only see fragments flash by. I cannot consciously access desired information. It's why I trained at the WDO to develop it into a forte specialized for investigations. information would be valuable to me. If I can get even a little piece of my memory. If you insist, I'll consider it once this investigation is done. How about 100,000 Xi'an per use? Let's discuss it later. That sounded cheap to me somehow. My sense of money is getting all messed up. Well done, Elora! <laughs> what else can we look at? I guess look at everything in the present day. That's nothing. The door, maybe? Wait, what else can I look at here? The fuck? Oh. Oh, the paint. I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick.
It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper investigation. It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. So, uh, chat, does anyone know if they announced anything, like, cool at the Bandai thing, or...? Alright. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. Aren't you an eager little puppy? Be quiet. I guess that's it. They're on Sword Art Online right now, nothing enough. interesting yet? Uh, okay. Alright, that's the investigation done. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Outside the window? Alright. Hmm. Okay. It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself. Huh. And my master does everything he's told. Like a good little underling detective. Polari's right. This is something I took on myself. I can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid. That's why I have to do it. Oh. Maybe Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. That's why you're so deep in debt. That sounds like a tweet I saw recently. I know, but... What are you mumbling about? Did you check the window? Oh, right. I'll do it right away. All right, let's go. Outside the window? Could that have anything to do with the locked room? Strange? No, nothing I'll strange be wondering why he's it. talking to himself, yeah. I see. Try entering through the window. What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Just try it. Okay. I, I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? No, not at all. What's that about? Uh... Yuma? You might want to turn around. Hey! What are oh. you doing here? Just a random guy. Huh? Um, I, I'm not doing anything shady. I'll call the peacekeepers. Wait! I'm... I'm a peacekeeper. Amaterasu Corporation? Y yes, of Amaterasu. You totally fumbled that. You're no good at lying, huh? What did you say? Um. We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. 
Civilians must not interfere. Huh? Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Halara. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? Thank you to follow, Zach the Mask. Welcome to the chat. I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, that would be me. Perfect. Yo, Describe what's good? How you doing, us. man? I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then I have no choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. All right, let's see what this guy has now, to say. Please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. He said he wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. So we looked around the premises together but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. Nail man? I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were on, even though they were usually off, so I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I, I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes, but the churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. And paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then. Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Oh, right. Alright, I guess we're done with that. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Uh, wait! I still have no idea what happened! Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Alara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. That price. And gone. What are you gonna do, Master? We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy. Oh, I have no clue what to do. Can't you just... Stop being so pathetic. Go into the other world? Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might oh. get to see Fuzzhead get executed. Um... Oh, right! We need to help him! I guess they're going back. I need to hurry back before the chief gets executed! Good thing I can... fast travel. Never mind, I can't fast travel. Actually... We can fast travel to the next city. Which, you know, is... whatever. All right, we gotta go. You better hurry, uh, or Fuzzhead will really be in danger. Down, right here. Alara seems to know who the real culprit is. That's incredible. Come on, where's 
is your competitive spirit. But Fran, all those quests. Will I will do those quests gift? at some other time. I have to wrap up the stream soon anyways, because there's some other stuff I have to finish up. Like, pretty soon. Wait, 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 what did you say? It would not be possible to return here for some time after. Also, no further requests can be accepted and in-progress requests will be left unsolved. Wait, are you serious? I have to do them? Oh my god, fine. Didn't realize I couldn't come back here. I thought that was Asahiko for a second. I guess you're right, Arrow. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, where can I go then? There's one over here. If it's just this place, I only have, like, one quest to do, right? Hmm? Someone stole your purse? Yeah, why not? Yes. <sighs> Navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants. He also had a white mask. Thank you very much. All right. There's nothing in the top area. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I see it. Wait, no, that's something else. Never mind. Oh, there is this suspect. Wait, no. Oh wait. Hmm? Wait, let me let me double check. Navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants and a white mask. No. No. He doesn't have a white mask or white pants. Also his jacket isn't blue. It might be this guy, actually. Hmm? YOLO. You're the culprit! W why Hmm? Right. Whoa! They got away! Say! Sh sure now. Come on! I guess we got the bag back. Uh... No. Well, there we go. Say! Oh! Uh... Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> hmm. Alright. Snatch the Snatcher. Okay. And you said there's one in the top area. Let's go check that out. Although I don't see it from here. Uh, are you sure there's one here? Hold on, let me... It was on the first, the fast travel map. Oh wait, you mean, oh you mean here? Because I see there's a question mark there, but I don't think any, any of these other areas have requests. Yeah, the mansion? Okay, cool. That's the mansion, it's something different, but let's just check in case we can't go back.
What's up? Um... I'm... <laughs> well? Hmm. Oh. What did she just say? Simping over every woman he meets? Oh my god, there's no way. I'm, I'm taking a screenshot of that, hold on. Alright. Hey! That's true. Uh... A suit, navy blue from head to toe. Alright. Got it. Paired with the devil. So, where do we have to go? Kanai Station, okay. After this, we can continue the story and wrap it up when we get to the uh, labyrinth, I guess? Assuming that's the next thing. And that's what happened. Called me a synth again. That's crazy. Alright, and we're done. Which means we can now continue the story. Yes, sir. Is it? A23? Oh, okay.
Down we go. God, not this guy again. It's about time. Hey, wait! You said I had three hours, huh? My watch says I still got five minutes. So you need to get your watch repaired. Oh dear. The watchmaker is currently detained as a suspect. Just throw away that piece of trash then. Besides, you're out of time anyway. Take him away. Why are they? Wait. Why are they walking like that? <laughs> Yuma, I knew you'd save me. And you are. <sighs> I was the one investigating the nail man murders. Oh, I see. So, you're the one who interfered with our work at the clock tower. Well, I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. You must drop this case. If you do, we will leave without pursuing any further action. That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? Yuma, think carefully about this. Solving the case is good and all, but think about my well-being. Please. Dropping the case would end this peacefully, but still. Please. Get my dad back from them. Please. Oh, his eyes look like that because they're supposed to look like a clock. Be a trainee, uh, okay, I get it now. You are still a detective. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. I can't back down now. The Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. I will find the truth. Huh? Oh, you've said it now. There's no going out of this one anymore. Then our deal is off. He comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work. And bringing strife to Khan I Ward. But... Please, wait, before you go. Please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past mailman killings. You investigated the previous killings. We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left at the crime scenes. I have no time for your lies. The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? I suspect this fact hasn't been made public. Well, not, not the woman. She was, uh, she had a wound at the back of her head. How did you know that? So the cause of death was kept under wraps. I hope you see now. My investigation is legitimate. Please let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. <sighs> I don't know where you obtained that information. However, it appears that you must be arrested as well. What? You are suspected of espionage. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. What? Wait, please listen to me! Too carried away, rookie. Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. That's right. Halara, please help. Halara Nightmare. Will it work? It appears you require the aid of a great detective. <gasps> They're here. I think. There they are. As I said, I would. You committed acts of violence against the Yamaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Not once, but twice. Where is Mother Shinigami? Uh, I mean, I hi. Hey, Koro. <laughs> Can we please 
please keep things on the down low. On the Is down low? Are you alright? Is that a reference? In this town, oh yeah. You are nothing but an audience. The resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to you, Mountain. Me? I'm the lead guy here? I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Expose the true culprit. What's going on? Oh, they're here now. I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? So that's what you meant about setting the stage. I mean, Halora did suggest the real killer was among the people of the church. And now I have to point them out here? Hey, Yuma. Are you sure you got this? Are you really... Really sure? There's no room to mess up here, you know? Um, well... What do I do? I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Yeah, I don't think so. Alara seems to know the answer already, so why don't you just pay up for it? But that would waste all of Halara's efforts setting the stage for me. Huh. So you want to solve this all on your own? If you can't ask Halara for help, why don't you try asking me instead? You mean the mystery labyrinth? The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. Things are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Oh no. And that's where yours truly comes in. We have the information we need from the investigation. All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. But... If I do that... There's always a price to pay. When I reap the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Which means... the real culprit will die. Huh? This killer's a total psycho who's already killed many others. Why do you care so much? You want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? What's wrong, Yuma? If you don't hurry, the peacekeepers will wake up. Yeah, Nathan, it's like um, in Persona 5 when you kill the uh, cognitive version of the palace ruler, they also die in, real, in, in, in the real world. It's like that, basically. <sighs> to put it into Persona terms so you can understand. I will make you listen, by force if needed. Well, you better hurry, or things will start getting bloody around here! Uh, uh, fine. <laughs> That's the spirit! Here we go. Well, Master, are you mentally and physically prepared? Alright, Koro, here you go. see her too because they reacted what's this has time stopped oh the Halara? How are you moving right now? You what happened? Is this someone's forte? Shinigami! Halara's in here too! Uh, thought so. You knew this would happen? Master, you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability isn't a one-way street. They can see her? Oh. 
You have the power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. Oh. Kalara wandered into the mystery labyrinth because of that effect. I think. You're not even sure? Who are you? Hmm, this'll take too long to explain. Plus, I don't feel like it. So I'll make that roll over the faster! <coughs> oh. Oh. so goofy. Alright, we're gonna end the stream off, like, right here, I would say. Um, yeah, that was a pretty long chapter. We're not even done yet, so. But that was fun. So, uh, yeah, that was a fun stream. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Let's see if I can raid anyone. Uh, who can I raid? You know what? Let's raid one- let's raid- let's- oh my god, I can't even fucking speak. Let's raid my friend, uh, Alex. Cause he's streaming right now, so... Yeah. Alright, raid... One... Art... Alex? Did I spell his name right? Okay, yeah, I did. Cool. Alright. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will stream this game again tomorrow and... You know, over the next coming days. Depending on, you know, how things go. If which doesn't randomly go down like how Twitter did. Hopefully Twitter fixes its shit and we can talk on there again. If not, I guess the Discord is where I'll be. AKA Fidel's Discord. Oh, speaking of Discord, I have to check what Brett said me earlier. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Adios!